Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Now you're all going to the gulag. That's how it is, okay? I'm sorry. You clicked on the video. Now you gotta go to... That's just how things go in here, right? Or you can just bribe me and I don't let you go to the gulag. Everything is fine. Everything will be okay, boys. Everything shall be a o k k k k k k How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome to the stream, everyone. Am I even live? Let me check. <laughs> Alright, there he is. Okay, so I am live. I am live. I think we might have a little bit of a latency. I'm not 100% sure of that, about that, but I think there might be some. So, boys, today we're going to be playing some EU4. We're going to be finishing off our Byzantine campaign, as promised, on live stream. This way you can ask any questions you might have about the run, and uh, I can show you whatever you guys want to see, like... You can ask me any questions like how I did this, how I did that, timeline, all that shit. So I can explain any questions you might have in your runs. Maybe I can help you out. So, you know, we can make it a more interactive stream, I guess you could say. How's your day, sir? It's been going good, Andreas. How are we doing? How is everybody? Glad to see a lot of the established viewer base in there. A lot of the the usual suspects in chat and some new ones. Glad to see the new faces as well. Greetings from Serbia. What's up, Lazar? How are you doing, man? How are you doing, sir? All right, let me um, change the game capture so we can actually start playing as a video game. And ooh, let me make. Oh no, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. What did I do? Video. Make myself small. Sorry, guys. I'm really horrible at streaming. Honestly, I'm like the worst streamer ever. Silas with the five gifted memberships. Thank you, my man. Thank you so much, Silas. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much, man. Thank you very, very much, brother. Okay. All right. Can you guys see? Can you guys see EU4? Just confirming. Thank you, Silas. It means a lot, man. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. What's going on, Malefic Roar? Screaming Maniac, fellow Irishman in the chat. Greetings from Brazil. What's up, Lima? Hey, don't take me to Brazil with you. You hear me? Don't you be taking me to Brazil. I'll know if you take me to Brazil. I'll know. Confirmed. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Alright, boys, so this is the famous Byzantine run that we, uh, I managed to milk for like five episodes. <laughs> hey, it's not milking, okay? I genuinely had a lot of freaking fun playing this, alright? And I was just, I was just happy to show you guys a little bit more in detail instead of just making one video with, you know, like, literally nothing in it, so. This way you guys, I think, understood a little bit better my thought process, I hope at least, and yeah. Obviously, we didn't min-max the shit out of this one. But that's because I, 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 I'm I not massive on min-maxing. I mean, I enjoy min-maxing just as much as the next person. But I'm also trying to not cut my freaking schnapps here. Because I get bored with the run. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. So, um, I will be taking any questions you guys have about this. I think best thing we can do is we can do the timeline first and I can explain a little bit in detail my thought process. How's that sound? Is that something you guys are on board with, uh, Chad? Hello from Vietnam. What's up, Kois? By the way, how's your tooth? Thank you for asking, Ryu. My tooth is good, man. So I have two teeth, actually. I had uh, an issue. My gallbladder is fine. That's one month ago, the surgery I had, and it was okay. I've recovered pretty well since. Um, my teeth happened a couple of days ago. First, the lower, lower on the the last tooth on the left side lower left last tooth fucked up like complete a cavity it had to be um completely removed so i have no tooth here loud and tooth thank you so much for the five euros my man see this this year he's clearly not romanian loud and tooth, right loud and tooth? he's he's giving me money that's not how you do it bro <laughs> he's he turkish clearly i can tell from the name <laughs> uh thank you man i appreciate it true 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 truth um so yeah so this happened and my tooth cracked, right? So I went to the doctor, he removed it completely. Now I have nothing in there, so I cannot eat on this side. So I started eating on this side, the side I don't normally eat. The second day after I started eating on this side, the tooth on top cracked. <laughs> so I go to the emergency again to the dentist and um, he removes that tooth up top. So now I have no tooth bottom left and no tooth top right, the last one, right? The big ones at the back. So I cannot chew on both sides because it's painful as shit. And I have to wait for like at least a month, I guess, until they properly treat everything and then decide what else we're going to do with it. So, yeah, that shit happens. You just got to be careful with it, I guess. I don't know. 
Look at that, Ludie's on YouTube. Popolvar here. What's up, Popolvar? How you been, man? It's been a while, bro. Where can I get my wallet back? Uh, next year, GM. We take applications next year for wallets back. What about the suspicious van lurking in front of your house, Ludie? Did something happen there? So the suspicious van that was lurking in front of my house like a couple of months ago, I still had like um, a couple of times some weird stuff happening, like some suspicious vans going around, but nothing nothing afterwards after i uh recorded them and i called the police and the police was outside our house and everything um the same van passed on the main road when the police was in front of the house so i think they they they, they got spooked and they never came back or maybe they're just waiting for me to uh, catch me off guard i don't know yeah so yeah, i guess that's pretty much catching up with the everything that's up in ludi's life <laughs> are you starting from the beginning we're gonna finish off this campaign and then if you guys want we can do another one from the be beginning i don't mind but I want to finish this off because I owe it uh, to the community, right? I promise that we'll finish this run. We'll take it to 1821. I, I, don't, I don't think so, Carpathian. I'm not going to have anything for Christmas, so I'm not going to be able to eat much, unfortunately. What's up, Gari Gabriele? I've from Italy. What's up, Leo? Uh, what's going on, on eSkate as well? Oh, my God. So many awesome people in chat. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me. Bison Gaming as well. King Holge. Greetings from Germany. Louis, enjoy your videos. Keep, going, keep on going. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. All right. So let's see this. So let's go on very fast and pause whenever something happened. The first couple of wars against the Ottomans, I got Bulgaria as a vassal. I took the coastline, so I have access to the northern bits. I took the couple of islands afterwards from the Venetian War. So it was pretty decent start, I'd say. Then basically just tried to wipe out the Ottomans and expand in different areas. So I have uh, access to the other parts of the Mediterranean to get a proper power base. Then as we progressed, expanded into low development areas, which made it easier for me to expand, of course. Then I think we formed East Byzantium. We changed the name to East Byzantium or sorry, Eastern Roman Empire, my bad. Then we uh, got a pretty significant improvement to our economy once we got the uh, Byzantine East completely, like all of the Mamluk lands and all of Anatolia. Then the western bits, when we started munching into it, essentially tried little by little. It was not difficult or anything. It was just about waiting for the truces to finish, to be honest. So I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed with the way that you need too many provinces to form the Roman Empire. I really feel like you should have at least 50 less provinces to form the Roman Empire. That way you can form it a lot faster and you can also maybe get some claims or something. Like there's no benefit to forming the roman empire in fact it's nerfed because the moment i formed the roman empire as byzantium i couldn't get client states anymore i had to wait for the technology to get client states which sucked you know what i mean so yeah after that we just started uh, munching everything here and i started expanding into africa and so on as well consolidating arabia the northern bits and that's pretty much it now we're waiting for truces mostly with everybody around and we have a little war with kilwa with marehan we got truce here, truce there. Uh, we also attack Japan so we can take all of the Japanese islands. And I think that's about it. Let me show you what else we have here. I'm going to show you my economy. I know, I know I'm not been maxing. I could get a lot more money if I switch around my trade a little bit more and stuff. Um, it's fine. It's more than enough in my opinion. There you go. We got, we're collecting in the main notes here. Uh, we're trying to filter as much in the other nodes. So 800 ducats, which translates into 1,400 in our home node, home trade node. We're getting another 130 from that one. We're getting more from the Lubeck one, actually. A lot more from the Lubeck one. Yeah, I think I might need a few more merchants. Maybe I can get a few more merchants. We can make some more trade companies. Why Naples? Uh, Naples was very easy to attack, man. Early on, Naples was super easy to attack. It was also... A uh, easy way for me to consolidate the southern bits of Italy before they got more high dev, right? Because the biggest issue I had was in the 1600s when everything I was attacking was super high dev. Every province was two, three times the development of the start, right? They really devved up the shit out of everything. So that was one of my main issues, really. The fact that everybody developed like crazy. Minmax is lame. I don't think Minmax is lame, but it's just not for me. I know a lot of people enjoy Minmaxing. I just, I like to, like, I'll be honest with you guys, this run... Half of the run, I was watching Netflix. So I was watching Netflix, speed fouring it, and waiting for truces and shit. So that was pretty much it. Uh, actually, no. Do I want that? Uh, no, we don't want that. Well, now it's too late. We'll leave it as this. But um, I think I'm going to get 
my capital is in Rome now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's see how many states we have here. We've got pretty much the most of Western Europe. Should I get all of this stated? Fuck it, let's do it. Let's get this stated. It's pretty high development lands as it is, so why not, I guess. Yeah, fuck it. All right. Get the Netherlands as our Statenstein. All right. And British Nokidonks. We are really backwards on uh, admin points. I am getting 14 right now. I had some pretty trash uh, leaders. Last couple of leaders actually were not really that good. Oh, let me check out my expeditionary force in uh, here. They're about to land. Oh, yeah, we have a few colonies around the world as well, like in the Philippines and so on. Um, kind of need to look at this because I don't remember exactly who and where is uh, my enemy. I support uh, Sunni HRE Serbian Emperor. Ludi in chat is like a worldwide. What happened to Sunni Serbia HRE Emperor? Uh, wait, what? We never talked about a Sunni Serbia HRE Emperor. A guide for the first Turkic Galactic Empire. Is that going to be for Stellaris though? What's up, Ivan? Mr. Streamer, where's Ludi? What's going on, Zaki? I'm here, sir. I'm here. Don't let the lack of a mustache fool you. It's still me. It's still me, sir. Still the same old Ludi, bro. Still the same old Luby. Luby von Lubinstein. My full name, by the way, in case you're wondering. I know a lot of people asking, yo, what is Ludi's real name? Clearly, it's Luby von Lubinstein. I mean, that's just common. All. Everybody knows this. Everybody that knows me knows that's my full name, okay? Okay, let's actually use our diplomats because we need to actually be a little bit more efficient here, I guess. Usius Maximus Diplomaticus. Okay. We have any claims on these guys? We don't. It's not going to make any difference. It's fine. Alrighty. I think I attacked, uh, whatchamacallum, Kilwa so I can cancel their alliance with somebody, if I'm not mistaken. Or did they already cancel the alliance with someone? They did. Oh, okay. So I guess I did cancel their alliance with those. I don't remember, to be honest with you, because I didn't play this run, this run in a while now. I mean, they're not co so maybe I should just white piece them, I guess. Yeah. And then I'll attack, and I can probably fully annex in two wars. 157. One war we can fully annex, because we have the right CB now. Hokey donks, boys. All right. Let's also Barragius Maximus. What's up, Convoyus Maximus? The OG viewers know your real name? Exactly, Darkstar. Exactly. Herr Lubinstein. That's it. That's the right one right there. Been sick with COVID for a week. Goddamn timing. Bro, I am really sorry to hear that you got COVID, man. I hope you're safe. You and Darkstar as well. I hope you guys are both safe. Sorry to hear that. I know it. it's pretty nasty, but I'm hopeful that it's better than it was before, right? Like, you guys have, like, the medicine and stuff. I haven't really been keeping up with what COVID's like nowadays, but, um... Really do hope that um, they have medicine and shit provided nowadays. Right? Right? Right, guys? They must have the medicine. Where are the medicine at, bro? Where are the medicine? Okay, let's keep that army somewhere in the middle there. And these guys over here. What's my truce timer with these guys? 1725. All right. And these guys? 1713. Oh, actually, these guys were going to finish a lot faster. So let's bring our units by the border with the Russians. Uh, let's recruit a few more units, I guess, as well. One more over here, one more over here. The game is lagging a tiny little bit, I guess. One more here. There you go. A few more. A few more units. And you got a 1713. Revolutionary. Oh, shit. I forgot about the revolution. Oh, my bro. We're going to need to um, handle those revolutionaries, aren't we? What do you guys think? Should we become revolutionary empire or should we destroy the revolutionary empire? I'll let you guys choose this one. I'll let you guys make the decision. You let me know in chat if you want me to become a revolutionary Roman Empire or destroy the revolution. You on YouTube nowadays? Sometimes, David. It depends, man. What's going on, Das Gaming? What's up, uh, Mohammed Bakhtarayari? What happened to Sunni Serbia, HRE Emperor? I don't know, Kelvin. What happened to it? We never, we never promised any Sunni Serbia, sir. Maybe in the future we might do one. Let's see. Oh, them cold furnaces. My favorite. Revolutionary Rome, destroy, destroy, destroy. Okay, most of chat is actually saying destroy. Isn't a new thing? Revolutionary Rome, destroy it. Do not become revolutionary. Okay, so pretty much everybody's saying destroy it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right, we can destroy it. We'll have to be at peace, and then we'll destroy the center of revolution. Export Byzantine mosaics. Can we actually get any of those, or should we just keep it? I don't think anyone's going to give us money for this, are they? 
We can try. I don't think Russia is going to give me, though. No. Well, not surprised. Not surprised at all. More coal. Yay. I do be enjoying me some coal. One person said revolution. Thomas. Happy holidays. What's up, uh, Diego? Thank you, man. I appreciate it, brother. You too, bro. Happy holidays, man. You will uh, regret destroying it. Revolution is an, an obnoxious mechanic. I mean, crushing revolution is kind of cringe, though. Yeah. I'm okay with anything, to be honest with you. Anything is fine, boys. Anything is fine. No, 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 no. Okay, let's see what my tech is like. I'm fine. 3.5 years ahead. Not bad. How are we doing with this? It's spread to 3% of our provinces. Oh, boy. Wait, which one? Diplomatic, I think, right? Political? I guess political. It's spread to a few provinces. Amicia is the center of revolution. Oof. If. This no bueno, boys. This no bueno. We don't like the revolution in here. Oh, shit. I gotta also check what my... Um, Culture conversion is like, let's see, we have right now, three, five, five, and eh, that's not too bad. There you go. Seven, seven, eight. I guess I'll just convert the ones below 10, and then I'll um, wait afterwards to get the adjacency bonus for the rest of them. Yeah, that's fine. That's is fine. Germanicus Revolution. I've been gone a while. When did you say shave? I uh, shaved uh, when I had my surgery. Like uh, a month ago. Unas mantos. That's how you say a month in uh, retarded. Oh, I forgot. That word is actually not a nice word anymore. I, I didn't know that actually. You promised it to Milan. Psycho. Oh, wait. Is that what I promised to Milan? I thought Milan wanted me to do uh, a Serbia run. Because I, I freaking recorded a Serbia run. Hold on a second here. Didn't Milan want a Serbia run? What happened to your manpower? My, my manpower is gone. <laughs> my manpower is just chilling somewhere else. Not right now. Not here. It's Serb. Yeah, it was Serbia, right? Wait. Serbian HRE. Oh, he wanted Serbian HRE. Oh, now I understand what you guys are saying. I am indeed very special, chat. I am indeed very special. Okay, what the hell is going on here? I didn't even know about this war here. Wow, one star. Awesome. Oh, but no. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go wipe out those rebellions. Rebellions. Is it rebels? Okay. I think I'm going to try and take as much from these bad boys as I can. I'm going to try and take all of their colonies. They have a few, I think. They might have a few. Let's see. Like your content. I'm a silent lurker usually. I appreciate that, Julian. Thank you for watching my videos, man. I appreciate it. Love from Iceland. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too, man. Thank you for, uh, for joining us today on the stream. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Sunni Serbian HRE. Okay, so that's what he wanted. Sunni Serbian HRE. Okay, fine, fine. I have recorded a little bit of the Serbia run. I haven't gone HRE, but I will go HRE. If that's what Milan wants, he is an awesome dude that supported us big time. So I will definitely do a... Sunni Serbia HRE then. That is going to be the goal of that particular run. Can we actually fully annex them? No shot. Wait, they have something else somewhere. Oh, that's because that's uh, Vagina Gar. No, don't care about Vagina Gar. How old are you? I am 32, 33. Can you do a Savoy Sardinia PM1 guide? I will. I will. I will. I have one uh, for E4 if you want one. But I can do a new one. I can definitely do another one. Ein Udervan. Alright. Let's go away. Oh, shit. Did they just wipe out my uh, my vassals troops? That is no Gucci. That is really no Gucci. Abo, that is here. Let's go wipe them out. Is it weird that I know the freaking province names in pretty much all the freaking places? Sometimes I feel like maybe that's not normal. We want a white piece from you guys. Are you not willing to give me a white piece? Wow. 
What a bunch of scumbags. Am I right, guys? What a bunch of scumbags. I need to stop pressing these events. Because if I don't press them, it takes three months to automatically press. And um, three months means I get no events. So, it's better. Better. It's better. It's better. All right. Come on, boys. Come here, baby. Let's go. Was I not pressing D on the keyboard? I thought I was. Holy fucking shit, man. There we go. There we go. What monuments can I still upgrade? Oh, this one. Oh, that's actually not bad. One extra missionary. Why not? That's going to help out quite a little bit. To get, um, you know, everything converted to our religion. All right. Berber separate. Did that, did that just say Berber separatists? No freaking way. No actual freaking way that said Berber separatists. I have to double check. If that said Berber separatist, that's just weird as shit. Hold on a second. Do we have Berbers? No, Burger. Oh, Bur... Oh my god. I mean, that's an honest mistake. Burger and Berber looks really similar when you first look at it, right? Are you doing One Faith or just World Conquest? I will try to do a One Faith as well. How can you have zero manpower, man? I know, bro. It's disappointing, right? It's because I'm not min-maxing, man. And I'm just keeping units in high attrition areas. That's why. If I was min-maxing, I'd do this, right? I'd be like, yo, let's put half. Because we don't have enough supply limit over there. So let's put half of these in each of this. There you go. That's way better. We're not getting attrition to death now. Ta -da -da! There you go. What's going on, John Rambo? Thomas Prize as well? Sounds like... Uh, what's the name of the guy... Um. The singer with um, Her Hey There Delilah, I think the name of the song is, if I'm not mistaken. Jason Praz or Jason Mraz or something. That's really similar to your name right there. Very similar. Oh, shit. We didn't upgrade this one? What? That's a fucking great one to have, man. This gives us the extra two freaking merchants, brother. Brother. We got that going. Let's see what Japan is like. Japan is doing great. Um, okay. Probably going to need to go there so we can help out with that siege a little bit more with the fleet. And core up everything. Let's go add one more here to the autonomous thingy and we have one extra merchant oh man it sucks because i have to now pay attention to where my 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 merchants are tunneling funneling the trade into when the strasburg video i don't think we ever promised the strasburg video do you recommend buying a foreign stream i had it on epic subscribe the to the dlc subscription i recommend you do buy it on steam yeah but uh i also recommend you wait for sales i'm sure that e4 is going to have some sales anytime soon maybe winter sales or maybe some um Wait, you guys don't even see the worst score. Let me actually make my character a little bit smaller. Is this better, guys? My bad. Um, yeah, or maybe like a Humble bundle. I got all of my U4 DLCs for 17 bucks on Humble like a few years ago, man. It has now. There you go. Good opportunity to get it then. Why you don't auto siege, bro? Uh, auto siege sucks dick. It already is on sale. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sunni Serbian female HRE Empress in Tiana. Okay, sounds good. YouTube viewer from like three years ago, first time catching you live. Great content. All the best from Algeria. You know the other wallet thieves of Volgas. <laughs> hey, Mihail, nothing wrong with it, okay? Also, Mihail is a very common Romanian name too. So just goes to show that Romanians and Bulgarians are basically the same people, just different language. Actually, I remember I saw a DNA uh, video and it showed that Romania and Bulgaria and Hungary had the exact same DNA makeup. So it's really just a different uh, language. Like this whole area, like a big blob, was essentially the same DNA. So basically descended from the same people with obviously different culture because of 
the invaders, various invaders, and so on. Epic gave you four for free some time ago. That's awesome. Romania Mare. Yeah, one day. They have like a 50% sale. Not bad, not bad. 50% is not too bad. What is that, like a thousand fucking bucks? <laughs> I'm kidding, it's a joke. It's a joke, please. No hate, I love you, I love you. <laughs> please, I'm... I'm not trying to say it's too expensive, Paradox. No, totally not. It's a... Uh, it's normal priced. For a 10-year-old game. So, inbred. What do you mean, inbred, sir? Excuse me? We like to be outside of bread, okay? Get it? I heard Hungarians are Turkic. No, no. Hungarians are... Uh, f the language itself is finno ugric which means the people that migrated, the Magyars that migrated to the Pannonian steppes, originate in Finland, the northern bits of Europe. Not necessarily Finland, but like the Finland slash Sapmi area, essentially. That's where they originate from. And their language is similar to that, right? But um, it had a lot of influences from a lot of different, um, whatchamacallum, um, uh, people that they met along the way, right? Essentially. Like they have a fort there? I guess they do. I'm just going to take this so I can cut their, their, ah, it's not going to make any difference. Fuck it. Just the money and get out. Get out of there, bro. We're going to attack him directly once we have um, the truce over. Just go ahead and take all this shit. Boom. Probably shouldn't even have taken the money from um, from Kilwa. Yeah. Oh, come on. Again, Separatists, man. It's more of a hassle to keep this shit, honestly. Hornishtli. Bru. 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 Okay, you boys gonna be barraged. Yep, that's right. You gonna get barraged. All right, now let's go back here. I need to set up my merchant. I forgot about this guy. I always get distracted and I do something else that I'm not supposed to be doing because I get distracted. All right, so let's see. Astrakhan, not bad. What else? If you see some better option, tell me also, chat. I like to hear what you guys have to say as well, of course. That's okay. We have one there. We have one there. Um, this one's going to Caribbean, right? This one's going Brazil. Maybe here might be better than Astrakhan. Yeah, fuck it. We'll put him here. Venice. Wait, am I not collecting in Venice? I, I think I am. Oh shit, I'm not collecting in brother. Brother. Oh, fuck. We got to wait for that guy to come back. Thank you for pointing it out. I didn't realize it's... Uh, I'm not collecting in Venice. Let's see how much that gives us in um, in here, though. 73 goes up to how much after? Well, actually, we don't need to do that. Just put it in a province where it has enough supply. Like uh, Frankfurt. Frankfurt. You know, guys, the first time I went to Frankfurt, I was surprised... At the lack of German people there. <laughs> I'm not trying to be... I'm not trying to say nothing. I'm just saying it was a surprise to me, okay? That's all I'm saying here, okay? I, it was literally just a surprise that I saw no Germans in Frankfurt. That's it. Alright? That I'm not saying... It's, it's just my first impression, alright? I didn't mean nothing by it. Just saying. I, I've seen more Romanians in Frankfurt than I saw Germans. I'm not even joking. I was passing by, like, construction sites. Everybody in the construction sites was speaking Romanian. Most people in the freaking Littles were speaking Romanian too, in like Bulgarian and shit. So, yeah. Turks mostly, though. <laughs> Did you open your eyes when you were there? I'm surprised the chat uh, can point out the trade problem so fast. Me too. Me too. You guys are paying more attention to this than I am. Just surprised. Can you actually speak Italian? Yes, I can speak Italian. Culture annexation. Is Romania most our country? I guess so. It's either Polish, Romanian, or Russian. Kind of true. Kind of true. Have you ever been to Tehran? You can see no Iranians also. Really? Okay, interesting. Interesting. Did they all leave and go move to Frankfurt? Is that why? <laughs> um, no, no. But seriously, though, um, it's good, man. Frankfurt's a beautiful city. I actually really enjoyed Frankfurt when I went there. Probably one of my favorite cities in Germany. Probably. Do I not have a general there? Nope. Meow, meow, meow. What 
the fuck? Denmark still exists? Brother. I didn't even notice them because they have the same color as me, bro. Genuinely did not notice. Brother. I no notice, brother. We join again. Alright. You can have up to 29 generaliuses. Cool. Alright, uh, let's go... What do we want from these guys, actually, man? Should we take the islands? Just to... No, not the islands, actually. I'm gonna take... Um... Wasn't there, like... Yeah, I don't care about that. Let's just go like this. Maybe like this, actually. We'll start from the north. Get a little bit of a foothold in the north. Cut them off from the rest of the Indians. Eh? How's that look? I think that looks beautiful. I think that looks beautiful. 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 I'm in plane. Can you speak Hungarian? I cannot. I only know one word in Hungarian. Pussy. That's it. Which means kiss, right? No, wait. Kiss, which means... I'm so confused now. I know that one of them means the other thing. <laughs> Um, Jane's, it's for prosperity. How many languages can you speak and, uh, what are they? I can speak, uh, Spanish, Italian, Romanian, French, and English. And I am learning Japanese. I'm learning, okay? I'll get it one day. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is this? Brazilian, North America. That is disgusting. That is actually disgusting. I cannot believe my eyes. My eyes have just gave, given up. They've, they've actually given up right there. Hold on a second. Independence of Finland. Still? Where? <laughs> don't tell me they have, like, Iceland or some shit. They don't. Where are they? Seriously. Actually, where... Chat, are you seeing that? Where is that shit? Bro. Where? Are you seeing the rebel rebellious province? I don't see it anywhere. I literally don't see it. Hudson Bay? Oh, is that here? No, I don't see it. You don't believe me? I do speak uh, French, Blake. I do. I I know it a lot better than I speak it, though, because I haven't spoken it in a, in a lot of years. A lot of years. But I do. I kind of was forced to, man. Like, uh, French was um, forced upon me. Because, like, when I was doing my uh, studies back in Romania, they, uh, I, I went to university, and the university I went to was supposed to have um, English only as the main degree, right? But then they're like, oh, we don't have enough students for the French um, classes also, so we're going to make, we're going to join French and English into one degree. So, yeah. Basically. Nobody asked for it. They just, they're like, yeah, you're going to learn French now. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Awesome. I like my uh, choices of freedom here. Great country, this Romania. <laughs> Not even joking, but I, that's literally what happened. <laughs> I know, right, Major Land? <laughs> so you have a degree in English? I do, yeah, I do. I have nine degree in Stein. Okay. Okay. Okay, actually, you guys come here. You guys go there. We're going to have to take key first before the other one. Let's go over here. You know, the thing I hate the most about World Conquest is just that I have to freaking pay so much close attention to all the freaking sieges and all the shit. It's just, ugh. Bro. Bro. You know what I mean? It's not a question of if you can do a world conquest. It's a question of are you going to get bored paying attention to a thousand things at the same time? Why are you not? That's the real question. That's why I decided to do this live because I can talk to you guys. So I don't have to, you know, cut my eyes off. World conquest is tedious. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Fully agree with that. I like French, but I like... Uh, them even more when shouting what what do you mean by speaking the language you mean actually speak it or like a few phrases actually speak it 
which makes up 50% of so-called uh, English speakers. Thank God for a vassal swarm world conquest. Recently started watching your Vicky 3 content. I've learned a lot uh, from it, so thank you, so, thank you so much. Maffy, thank you for watching my videos, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, bro. I've been uh, really enjoying Vicky 3 recently a lot. I mean a lot, a lot. So I don't have too many hours in Vicky 3. I got like 500 or some shit. But I've I've been learning. Like the more I've been... I, I, so I've been doing uh, 1836 to 1936 runs, right? I've done it with the Russians, with the Qing, with the Romanians. I think with the Japanese. And I have to say, playing all the way to 1936, I learn a lot from my mistakes. Because I make a lot of mistakes, right? And I learn from those mistakes. And I improve my gameplay as a consequence. So yeah. Eventually... You're going to see better videos from me when it comes to Vicky 3. A lot better video. A loot. When was this? April? Yeah, next month. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, yes. Scumbags. They stack vibe on me. Motherfuckers. They did it to me. They're bullies. They attacked. Viciously attacked me. All right. Uh, Congo... What the fuck is Kilwa doing here again? They're allied to them? Really? I don't need to co them, though. Kazembe and Kalundi. Oh, man. They're getting guaranteed by Brazil. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, man. We're going to be sending it. Fuck you, Kilua. You smell. All right. Anything here that we forgot about? You guys, seventeen twenty-five. Okay. Um. Why well, you guys separate like that? Donkey, bro. Okey donkey. Should probably pay attention to the um, northern front in Japan, shouldn't I? Let's see. Anyone trying to attack us? Apparently, no. They're scared of us, I guess. I don't know. I'm just guessing. What's going on, Azula, Azula, Azula Rai? Merry Christmas, man. How you doing? You look a little fat. Is uh, that your final holiday form? I've got like a 5 kgs past week. Nah, man. I actually lost some weight. The difference is I don't have the beard anymore. So, because I don't have the beard, I look a little bit chubbier. I've been, I was really fat before. I had 95, 99 kg actually. So, I'm down to 85, 87, 87. So, I lost quite a few kgs. But I was so fat, but you guys couldn't notice because I had the beard, right? It, it hid my chins, my multiple chins. Make Africa purple again? Of course, of course. What's the weakest big nation that comes to mind? Weakest big nation. I mean, I don't think there's any such thing as a weak big nation. Any weak nation in general. It's all about who plays the nation and how they play really more than anything else. In my opinion, at least. Nope, you're not getting away. You're not getting away, bruh. Ölümük. Ölümük. Some of these province names, bro, like, who names their province? Olumuk. 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 Okay, I'll stop now. Chat's probably like, shut up, Looney. We heard it. It's Olumuk. Now shut the fuck up, bro. Well, fine, okay. Uh, but Ludi, why you don't min max and you attack and you siege with the Naf uh, cannon and you send the rest of the army to carpet siege? Bro, bro, bro. Takes too much time, okay? Come on. Takes too much time. It's enough that I'm even playing this game right now. <laughs> More than enough that I'm even playing this game, alright? Come on. Come on. Don't ask me to freaking... Play it properly as well. Le, le How many hours do you have in E4? Probably around 10,000 plus. 
I've got 5,000 on Steam and an out another five, 6,000 before Steam. No, seriously, where the fuck is this actually, man? Turk Islands, what? Okay. Max Monument of Stonehenge with the uh, Roman culture for your rebel issues. In Tano Rio Grande 2 for conversion. Hey, thank you so much for the uh, check for it, I think, Tomas. I'm not 100% sure, man. But I appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's actually really good advice. I'll do that. Let me actually recruit some more units here. Is Stonehenge not it maxed out, actually? Oh, I didn't even max it at all. Holy shit, man. Holy shit, bro. Why you don't do this, Ludi? Ludi, why you don't? Oh. Oh, wrong one. Why you don't do it, Luli? Why not, bro? Why no? Explain. Salvatore Felicite, Salvatore La Cruz. What's up, Alb? Happy, happy holidays to you too, man. Salvatore Felicite. Swiss Franks, Luli. Oh, that's Swiss. Oh, that's Confederation Helvetica, right? Yeah, I see. I see you, brother. I see you. Confederation Helvetica. Zombie as well, becoming a legionnaire for six months. Thank you so much, Zombie. How are you doing, man? Guys, Zombie is an awesome dude. Really long-time supporter. Really, really appreciate seeing him in chat all the time. On Twitch as well, not just here, by the way. He's everywhere. He's been following me, guys. He's been following me. In a good way. In a good way, following me. Holy shit, we can cast all of that? Hell yeah. Okay, what kind of debate are we going to go for here, boys? What are we going to go for? Culture conversion class is the first one that comes to mind that might be the best one. Yep. Uh, I think culture conversion cost. Yeah, fuck it. I think this is the one, bro. I think this is the one. Oh my god, how many do we need to give, brother? Holy shit, man. That's a lot, bro. Why not shift click to, to five times the great project rush? Um, I mean, sure, I can do that. It's a good point. Oh, my God. How many of these, bro? Come on, man. Do I need to make everybody happy in the whole world? Apparently, yes, because they all belong to me. Swedish Kruna 50 as well from Zombie. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Zombie. Appreciate it, bro. How you been, man? Santa Ludi, where is your beard? I, I, um, so my beard looked like a wallet in my defense, okay? So it's, uh, it's, it's gone. It's just, I talked to the homies. They got rid of it. It's not amongst us anymore. It's long gone. It's just how it is, man. It's just how it is in life, you know? When you like something the most, that's when it disappears. To no fault of my own. I want a nudie Ludi under the mistletoe this Christmas. Ooh. Eating dinner whilst watching your stream. Enjoy your dinner, man. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, shit. These guys... Um, I need a peace deal, though. Because I need to um, get rid of the, the freaking revolutionaries. Shit. I probably shouldn't have attacked these guys also for that matter. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna be at peace. I'm not gonna attack anyone for a few moments until I finish these wars. Until I get rid of the revolutionaries. Yeah. That's going to be the plan. And then we can uh, attack the Russians. So I need to piece these guys out quicker then. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe I'll do a short, like less war score piece deal, I guess. Yeah. Maybe like this. Um, Make a little bit of money. Or just cancel their alliance with the Russians. Yeah. That works too. A couple of days should be fine. There you go. Took a few more provinces. Reset. Boom. Arrivederci. Cool. You guys come here. You guys come here. I'm gonna split you off. All right. Cool. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Now we can deal with the Japanese as well. Let's see. I hate the fact that because I have uh, my um, my missionaries on autonomously converting stuff, they convert stuff 
before I get to uh, core those provinces. So it's kind of, it kind of gets annoying. You know what I mean? It just gets a little bit slightly annoying sometimes because of that. Just a little bit. Oh, got to siege that. Okay. Probably should bring one more army just to be on the safe side. Let's go. And how are we doing here? Can we send the expeditionary force to wipe out those uh, Turk scumbags? Try at least. What's this? No need for that. Wait, do we have? Oh, we do have. We don't need that. We don't need any of these. Chat! Quick! First to answer gets a pony. Why do you not need trade edicts in Italy right now? Come on, quick quiz. Why do we not need any trade edicts in uh, in Italy? Why, chat? I love Vicky3 now, uh, Snorrison. I actually enjoy it a lot. Ludi, no, your income is uh, terrible, but did you set Venice um, Merchant? I didn't. I didn't. I forgot about it. Let me let me put him over there. The one from Chesapeake right now. Why not? Because you own all of it. Exactly. Exactly, bro. So you don't need the extra trade power when you have 100% trade power in pretty much all of Europe, right? It's pointless. It's just extra paying extra to maintain that edict for no reason. It's very good. It's Xmas soon. How is it uh, with you? Glad to hear it's uh, all good, man. Uh, it's good with me as well. I the the surgery that I had right w went really good, so my recovery was amazing. I don't have any issues. Um, well, aside from the teeth stuff, but that's separate from the surgery, of course. And wife is good, house is good, everything fine. Just, you know, trying to take it one day at a time. Trying to take it one day at a time, bro. Bro, 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 bro. bro. That's about it. Because trade. Okay. What was the surgery for again? I removed my gold bladder. I had my gold bladder removed. We got into an argument. The gold bladder said that it doesn't like what we're doing to you guys' wallets. And I said... But Goldbladder, you started this. And it said, no, I'm taking my clothes and I'm going to see my mom. And then I just removed it. I removed it. I said, no, I'm sorry. No, I cannot do that. I cannot let you do that. That was it. No more Goldbladder, boys. No more. Uh, okay, we're going to need to do a war in uh, Brazil as well. I forgot about the Brazilians. We don't need that shit, do we? No. We don't need nothing. Oh, for fuck's sake. I guess we're losing 10 prestige. I guess we're losing the prestige. Yes. Yes, yes. Much yes. Okay, another quiz, boys. Why am I building the town halls? Why am I building the town halls, chat? There's two reasons. Can you name both of the reasons why I'm building them? Will you continue the China game on Vicky 3 Yes, I will. Actually, uh... Finished recording the China one and the Russia one. Well, Russia almost finished, not fully finished. I still have a few years left in that one. So it's just a matter of editing and releasing it, pretty much. Exactly, Ang. Minimum autonomy, first off. That's the most important. But also state maintenance, minus 50%, adds up. And province governing cost. But the real reason is because then we have a place for all the friends to chill in the town hall. Am I right? It's all about the friends we made along the way, chat. Which is all two of them. Jose and Shmagagdabus. All of them. I swear I have friends. I swear. I'm not just making these names up, okay? I would I would never make up friend names. <laughs> that's just that's stupid. Who would ever do that? I wouldn't. Never, never would. Sounds horrible, bro. <laughs> nice timing there, rebels. Very nice timing. Minus level ten. I didn't expect the last reason. 
You said his friends were expensive. I mean, that's why you, you, you give the 50% maintenance cost, right? I play Victorium Universalis only. I like Victorium Universalis. It's a really freaking good mod for this game. Really, really good mod. Real, really good mod. Yes, much like, much nice. Okay. Avec le destruction of all these troops. Oh no. Oh no. Why you do this? Why you do this? How much can we take now? What the fuck? We can take everything we want? Brother. Brother. I mean almost everything. It's not actually everything. They still have some provinces left, right? Where the fuck is that? So what do they keep? They keep the capital? Oh, because this is occupied by Pasai. What the fuck? Man, I love late game E4. It's so fucking easy. It's insane. Damn. Okay. Noise. Noise. Centralized state. Yes, please. All right. Now. Let's try and do this before the uh, freaking uh, convert machinists convert everything. You know what I mean? I think they already did, didn't they? Scumbags. Oh no, that's just because it's inland, so we gotta wait until we get uh, cores along the coastline next to it. Next to hit. Hit. Cool. Okay. We got most of the Japanese islands now. Let's uh, wipe out those rebels. Let's peace out these guys as well so we can um, get rid of the... Um, I forgot what they're called. The... Um, Radicals? Not radicals. That's in Vicky 3. The revolutionaries. Revolutionaries. What's up, Soup HD? Ludi Universalis? No, we're going to wipe out the revolution, uh, Raphael, because chat said that they want us to wipe out the revolutionary. Why, though? Why what? Ludi forgot to cancel the cores. Oh, shit! I love canceling cores in this game. Why is it so hard to play a nation without watching a tutorial? It's not. You confuse virgins. With pure heart. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Ludi. I was watching you from Turkey. Yo, Kumas Yuxel. Thank you for watching me, man. Yo, you know one thing I like about Turkish people? It's the fact that... And this is something that not many people are aware of, by the way. Only very few people know this. But actually, Turkish people are really just Romanians with, um, with extra steps. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. No, Turkish people have names. Some names, some Turkish names are actually animal names, like dolphin, like hawk, like stuff like that, right? Not everyone. I mean, obviously, a lot of them are also Islamic based, like Ahmed and so on. But there's a lot of like traditional Turkish names that are basically from animals. That's a really cool thing. Not many people know. Extra steps. I'm from Greece. What the fuck is that economy? What the fuck is an economy? <laughs> it's a good point. What is an economy? By the way, hi from the uh, rest of the Habsburg Empire. What's up, brother? 666 viewers when I joined. Xmas GG's. What's going on, Serpentis? What's going on, bro? Bra. Bruder. I like how you have the... Um, the names are basically Roman names, right? So you have Colonia Agrippina for uh, the province in uh, Germany. That's really nice. No, Colonia Agrippina rebelled. Let's wipe out everybody that lives and breathes over there. Just like Romans. Just like the Romans we are. Okay, let's see how it's going in here. Man, can you just hurry up? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tehran. 
Why they call Tehran Tehran, you ask? It's because there was a guy, his name was Teh, and he ran. So that's why we call Tehran Tehran now. True story, by the way. Trust me, bro. <laughs> Reasons why Ludi's banned from going to Iran. La 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 la. Can you show ideas? Can you show Bob's and Veganas? What? Uh, yeah, so we started with aristocratic trade because I didn't intend to do world conquest at all in this run And then I was having a lot of fun and then you guys were like, yeah, why not? Let's give Ludi a thousand trillion fucking likes so he can actually continue the run and I was like Oh my god, these people actually freaking gave me 15,000 likes. What the fuck man? <laughs> so then I started getting admin influence religious diplomatic and so on <laughs> Love you too, baby Hardest part about world conquest is clicking on pause. True. True. Very very true. Oh, come on. And they defected to my vast, to my co. This is so dumb. Oh, wait, no, what? What? Oh, my God, that is Vinland's, Denmark's colony. Ugh. Why the fuck didn't you go to kill it, man? Oh, my God, this is, ugh, this game sometimes is just small brain. Small brain. 1719. Remember that date, boys, so we can attack the Danes. The Great Danish War. The war in which we make the big Danish, you know, the pastry. Fun fact. Did you know that uh, the word Danish comes from the pastry? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. No, Ludi, you're wrong. The pastry is... Uh, the word for the pastry is from the Danish people. No, no. It's clearly, that makes no sense. What's wrong with you? Why would you even think that? Right, chat? 17, you got this? I know, I know. It's just a matter of not getting bored. I'm already feeling like I want to poop myself. I just need to do this freaking peace deal here so I can uh, get rid of the, um, the stupid re revolution that's brewing over here in the north. And then after I can, um, I can destroy the rest of the world, basically. In a nutshell. Sussex? No. It's not because I don't have the money. I'm just a cheap bastard. That's why. That's why. That's exactly why. Okay? Got a problem with that? So what if I don't want to invest 9000 for that? Huh? Huh? What's your problem, bro? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Mercenary maintenance cost. Is that all we get? Instability cost? Fuck that, man. I mean, I have so much money. Why not? Fuck it. Okay. Uh, did we have any other monuments we need to upgrade? I think this one, isn't it? The Tower of Lumbon. That's the real name, in case you're wondering. You thought it's London? You need to get educated, bro. I got my degree from the uh, American Institute of uh, Smart. It's called Lundon. Lumbon. Okay? You be quiet now. All right. Uh, what are we going to do, boys? What are we going to do here? We're going to be sending... From here to the Saxon node, so it filters into Lubeck. So we don't need to worry about this. So we go in Lubeck from 295 to... To less? Did that update? Oh shit, it's because it, it went the other way, bro. Brother man. Broderos. There you go. 314. Much better. I mean, slightly better at least, right? If not much better. I call Old Danes Holstein Schleswig. Have you played BG3? Is that a... Um, Baldur's Gate 3? I have, I have. But I haven't played it as much, actually. I've only played it on release a little bit. What's going on, Anthony? How did you get eight missionaries? I, um... 
I called the Pope and I said, yo, I need eight missionaries or I'm going to be real mad. And he's like, no, no, don't get mad, bro. I love you. Here, have eight missionaries. If you really want to know, this is how. Pause the stream. Look at the modifiers. And then unpause. Wait, we have a war going? Oh, yeah, we do. Shit. Forgot about this war. Okay. Oh my god. What is my army tradition, bro? Fucking 100 army tradition and I'm getting one... Bro. This game, bro. This game. This game. It's no like me. It's really no like me. Now, if I was really to min-max, I would get a lot more light ships to improve my trade situation. Say... Boom. Boom. Also, what the fuck are my light ships doing in the Mediterranean? Did I just see some light ships in the Mediterranean? I think I did, didn't I? Or here. Wait, where are my light ships, actually? They are here. Okay. Um... I think we already have 100 here, no? We're, we're at 90. Oh, right, because we still have uh, to get rid of um, the Danes and the Swedes. That makes sense. Does that make sense? Wait, what? The Issei Grand Temple. Where the fuck is that? Bro? Bro? Bro, bro? Bro, bro? Bro, 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 bro? Hamburg? Can you guys stop rebelling, please? Thanks. Appreciate your understanding. Appreciate you understanding me. Okay, so what are we going to go for first, chat? I wish we could go for this, or for this, or for this, or for this. No, no, I actually don't wish down that shit. Uh, artillery damage from back row is likely the best one. Ignoring coring dif distance, not bad also. Force march, no cost. Artillery level versus fort is pretty good, too. Watch the vid of someone comparing Paradox Game and said CK3 had better warfare than EU4. I mean, everything has better warfare than EU4. EU4 is 10 years old, bro. Isn't Issei in Japan? He could colonize that once a hard corridor. It looks awful. Meh, it's okay. We'll do it eventually. It might be in Japan, right? Issei. And I don't know where it is. Sounds Japanese to me, though. Definitely sounds Japanese. Why did I lose so many units here? What the fuck, man? Need to pay more attention. Why am I getting so many rebels? Why don't people like me? Now I remember why I kept armies there. Because people be rebelling every five seconds. That's why. Literally all my armies are ready to go and wipe out everybody. But um, there's a problem. And that problem's name is... Um, Need to get rid of the stupid whatchamacallums revolutionaries. Oh, we can actually get out of there. Let's uh, bring this army here as well. Can you guys like stop rebelling, please? Have you tried CK3 a uh, got? No. A Game of Thrones. I haven't, but I actually want to try it. I've I've seen uh I've seen uh, the mod on the workshop. It looks really fucking good. Like extremely good. 180 overextension. Nah, that's nothing, man. We had like 800 in this run at one point. Hey bud, enjoy watching your videos and can appreciate how much knowledge of these games. 
you have, but being honest watching your vids. First time in the morning with my coffee, my pea brain never can grasp everything that's going on. <laughs> Much love and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Gio. Thank you for watching my videos, man. Alive on YouTube with the Giga Chidaga the Buddha Buddha. That's it. That's exactly it, Ahmed. I'm Jed, sorry. Greetings from Albania. Up for a challenge, Albania and Vicky 3. Start as an Ottoman vassal and do something. We have an Albanian E4, man. I might do in Vicky 3 in the future. Let's see. I like to see some flavor for it, you know, if I did something with Albania. With Halabania. Halabania. That's how you say it, by the way, in case you didn't know chat. People mispronounce it all the time. They say, oh, it's Albania. No, no, it's Halabania. Trust me. I know a guy. So stupid thinking I would make that up. Come on, chat. You know I would never do such a thing, right? How is Japan in Christmas period? Japan's pretty good. Um, so like in Japan, some things are a little bit different. Like uh, for Christmas, what do people eat? They eat either turkey or chicken for Christmas. Yeah, KFC is a popular one. Although I don't remember if it was for Christmas or for New Year's KFC. I think for Christmas. Because for New Year's, they like to eat um, little kids. No, I'm kidding. They like to eat um, a crab. They like to eat crab for Christmas. For, for New Year's, not for Christmas. Yeah, that's what they like to eat. What's going on, Dissuade? Ireland and Vicky 3, please, Ludi. Maybe, maybe. Ireland and Vicky 3 first. You playing uh, Minecraft? We have a Minecraft server as well, actually. What said she? Little kids are my favorite on Christmas. <laughs> KFC chicken is dope. Greetings from Germany. What's going on, Sergio? A box with full of... Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. box full of food, food is, sounds really good. Sounds like something I can get behind for sure. Bow, show. A show. A show. If we didn't have the revolution bullshit, we wouldn't have these rebels at all. Maybe I should just take an L here and peace out these guys with less shit. Yeah. Um, just give me a little bit. Maybe I can take the interlacustin bit. Bit. Yeah. Oh shit! What is this cold, chat? Chat. What is this province cold? I need to know. Is it this? No. This? No. Ludi Grad. Ludi is the Kazakh Vicky campaign never gonna happen. It will happen, Dolit. It will happen. Buzuki. No shot. That's Buzuki. You're lying to me, aren't you? You're lying, you lying scumbag. I know it, you're lying. I don't know the name, man. Screw you, Kilwa. You got away easily. Because I'm such a nice guy. Alright. Um, let's go. Let's siege these down so we can actually do this freaking pistol already. We got to get rid of that stupid revolution before it starts exploding everything. How is it that me playing as German, uh, sorry, me playing as the Roman Empire, I need to station legions in Germany to pacify it, even in the 1700s, huh? What is up with this irony here? Fake Leafy, what's up, man? Without beard, you look 10 years younger. Thank you, Adam. Please shut it, man. You too. Without beard, you also look 10 years younger. Everybody does, I think. Except the uh, Mofaz. You guys know Mofaz, the depressed uh, Persian truck driver? You guys watch M Mad TV? You should. 
historical gameplay, pacifying Germany region nonstop. Exactly, man. Like this whole stream, we've been fighting the Germans, man. Come on, bro. Just give up already, Germany. Give up. Ya need to give up, bro. Ya need to give up. To also get some more generals in the house. Pacifying the Germans sounds historically accurate to me. You look younger, but uh, we need the mustache. Yeah, Mad's awesome. Is that uh, his smile or is it uh, his stash? It's my... Uh... You don't want to know. Restore Persia. No! Persia's my little bitch. I mean, my, my province. That's what I said. I said province. That was autocorrect, by the way. Not my fault. Auto corrected me. Which auto corrected me, you ask? Well, out of on Bismarck. Yo, actually, that is a really good question, man. Why don't people name their kids Otto von Bismarck anymore? Like, genuinely. Such a freaking cool name. Imagine naming your kid. Otto von Bismarck. Instantly, all the women would fall in love with him. Like, all the girls in the chat right now. Be honest. Would you not fall in love with the dude whose name is Otto von Bismarck? Would you not be like instantly, Oh my god, that is such an awesome name. I want to have your kids times 100. Speaking about Hassan Ludi. Wait, what? As a French, I do not support. <laughs> von Bismarck was a family name. Yeah, but it can also be a first name if you really think about it. Okay, just don't think too much about it. Because if you think too much, then the brain hurts. We don't want the brain to hurt now, do we? Instantly would get bullied in school. <laughs> Putin quoted Bismarck. Oh, really? What did he say? Did he say Russians are backwards? <laughs> I'm pretty mad. I'm pretty sure that's what Bismarck would say. Because Bismarck saw the Russian Empire as a backwards empire during his time. Didn't really take it very serious, that's for sure. Did not take it very serious at all. I'm a hetero guy, and I would love that guy with that name for laughing. That's it, just for laughing. You can come clean, Der Leon. You can come clean, bro. Imagine, I mean, first off, your first mistake was saying that you are a hetero guy. Now I don't trust you anymore. That's that's something that would not be said if you really were a hetero guy. You know, us hetero guys, we have a way of identifying each other. You know what that way is? Do you know the secret hetero sign? There's a sign we, we have. Michael, no, no, Michael's not the sign, bro, come on. Michael's the guy that broke away from the hetero legion. I don't know where I'm going with this. But I've gone too far already. <laughs> I'm in too deep, I cannot back away now. We're all gay. I mean, the real question is, how many of you guys have actually tried it, you know? You need to try it to know if you're gay. And if you try it, well... I mean, you know. <laughs> hey, man. All I'm saying is, you never know. We'll talk again in a hundred years. What the fuck is going on in Japan? <laughs> Guys, you didn't tell me there's rebellions in Japan, bro. I didn't even see any pop-ups for Japanese, J Japanese, for Japanese rebels. I, I didn't see a single pop-up for this, okay? What the hell is this, man? Minus 92 siege... What the fuck? <laughs> Let me guess. This is going to go from minus 92 to owned by the prop by the rebels, isn't it? I know it. I freaking know it. Cannot hide from me, you scumbags. Cannot hide. Do doth do protest too much. Ramses is the second. What? Wait, what? How do you know? That's the real question. How do you know? You need to tell me. How you know, bro? Bro? Tell me right now. Who told you? Who's the mold? Who's the one that gave it away? 
Oh my god, that is a chad of a freaking general. 4456. Oh my lord. That right there is Generalius Maximus. I did not see them skip through each rebel appearance. One guide with Monteferrato. In the future, maybe. There's nothing changed with Monteferrato, man. I did a Monteferrato video in the past. Nothing changed, and I don't want to play the same nation a hundred times. Because it's boring. It's boring. It's boring, men. Hallelujah. That's how it goes, right? That's how the song goes? Pretty sure that's how the song goes. Wait, we have rebels in Iraq? But why? All right. Um, there we go. Get rid of all the rebels. Go over there. Go over there. Go over here. Take those guys out. Take the other ones out. There's a lot of provinces we haven't discovered in this little area here. It feels like there's more provinces than I remember there being. Oh, shit. That's a fort as well. Why is everybody building forts, man? Yo, have you guys seen my Georgia video in which we, um... This army gonna get stack wiped? Almost. Look at this. Look at this. They have 0.00, .00 morale. I have a thousand artillery. <laughs> and I somehow won that. What? That's what we call um, a close shave, boys. A close shave right there. You seen? Bro, this is so powerful, this freaking monument. Imagine. Own the provinces and region do not cost anything to maintain the forts. That is literally fucking mind-blowing. So it's minus 90% of cost for those provinces. So the region is this. You can have a fort in every one of these and it's super freaking dirt cheap. It's really good. Really, really good. Oh, shit, we have 48,000 ducats. I haven't built anything. Uh, yeah. It's raining town halls. Hallelujah. It's raining town halls. Eh. I like to keep my universities in the places that I, I like. Like, you know, um, that made more sense in my mind, by the way. Like, I don't want to build universities in every province because it's pointless. I'm not going to develop every province anyway. So... Why do I do this in the first place? It's because when I click the university map mode, I only want to see blue in the historic Roman Empire borders. You get what I'm saying? So when I click this, all the historic Roman Empire borders are going to have blue. That's it. Nobody else. You see what I'm doing here? I'm painting the historical map border map of um, the borders of the Roman Empire with universities. I guess you could call me an artist. I did graduate from um, the most pre pre preeminent, the most prominent art school in um, in Austria. I'm, I'm kidding. No, I got rejected. That's why I'm painting maps right now. I'm also putting universities in every Romanian province because I am Romanian. So shut up. Okay, now your problem. Um, wait, this is Romania as well. Oh, this is Romania as well. All of this is Romania. What? <laughs> Hungarian people crying in the chat right now. <laughs> Wait, what? Austria? No, no. Fuck those guys. <laughs> Wait, no, no. I didn't want to build in that one. Shit. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to build universities everywhere except Austria, okay? I'm kidding. No, that's also Roman, Roman province, of course. Historical. Austrian painter. The indignity. Yes, yes. Prestigious. Ludi, can you kiss me good night? Good night. Build some universities in Gaul. Our missions were to bring civilization to Gaul. True, true, true. That's a good point. I like your argument. Because I like your argument. Because of that reason, I'm out. 
Yep, that's exactly what's going on here. In fact, this is not Ludi. That's why the beard is gone. I am, in fact, Barbara from Ta Shark Tank. And I just got out. Where did I get out from? Everything. Shut up, bro. Mind your own business. I knew it. I knew it's not Luby. What gave me away, chat? What gave me away? Was it the, the beard? The lack of the beard? Wait, we don't have all of Italy with uni unis? No fucking shot. Wow. No fucking shot. I think uh, towards the end of me ca conquering the, the um, HRE provinces, I had like so much freaking aggressive expansion, like a thousand on the minus relations with everyone because of uh, aggressive expansions or some shit. You gave the wallet back, Amorica. Where did you hide the real Ludi? Give us the daddy beard. Dukatenstein, exactly. Praz knows what's up. He knows. He knows exactly what's up. Oh, yeah, Praz is from Switzerland, so he's got the universities too now. He's happy. Yo, Lohi333, thank you for becoming a senator. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, brother. Or sister. I'm not sure. Because you have um, an anime picture as your profile picture. So I'm a little bit confused here. I'm a little bit confused. But then if you tell me, girl, play E4. I don't know. It's very, very strange behavior. This mean E4 player can have girl as friend? Doubtful. Doubtful. Very doubtful. There's no way. Cannot believe that. Don't build an Asterix province. Finally, I can get a degree. True, true, true. From the most prestigious Roman university, too. Not just any university. Um, isn't uh, Switzerland, like, uh, degrees free, though? As far as I know. Right? Right, bro. Right, bro. Right. I think most of Europe has free university, doesn't it? I do play E4. I'm woman. Don't lie. You don't play E4. I know you. You're my wife. Watching from Barcelona. How is everything in Barcelona? Yo, I love Catalan chicken. My favorite thing that I miss about Spain the most is Catalan chicken. I fucking love Catalan. If you guys have not tried Catalan chicken, it is delicious, man. If I ever go back to Spain or whenever I go back to Spain to visit at least, I, I, will, I will definitely go by the Catalan area so I can have Catalan chicken. It's amazing, dude. Ave Legion. What's going on, What's going on Luis? With which nation did you form the Roman Empire? Byzantium, sir. We started as this little shit hole of a nation here. We just started, we destroyed, in four years, we fucked the Ottomans so bad, we got half of the Ottoman Empire. Holy shit, man. Dude, Triari Broforce. Merry Christmas, Ludi. Thanks for the years of great content. Dude, thank you so much for the 50 freaking dollars, mod man. Holy shit, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you for the, I'm assuming that is a super sticker or something. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate that, man. That really means a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much, Triari. Thank you so much, man. I like your username as well. Reminds me of Triari I from uh, Rome Total War. Thank you so much, bro. I really, really appreciate that so much, bro. What are you going to do with Byzantine Empire Guide and Vicky? I have one. I have one. But actually, that's a good point. I haven't done one for 1.5, did I? I should do another one. He's making Byzantine World Conquest. Hell yeah. Exactly. I finally convinced my girlfriend to play E4. But since I have a girlfriend, uh, I'm not sure if I betray E4 community or not. You're you're a traitor, Ali. You are exiled. Heretic! Heretic! Guys, shun Ali away. Half of HRE again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As always. Chiz Holves. Greetings from Catalonia. What's up, man? How are you doing, bro? Yo, you guys have amazing food. I said it, I think, a few minutes ago, but you guys have actually amazing food. I love Catalonian chicken. Catalan chicken. Hi from Thessaloniki. What's up, bro? He's just lying. Nobody has a girlfriend and plays you for it. This is true. This is true. I smell liar. <laughs> I smell it. I smell it right now. Why don't you state territories? Um, I don't need to. I got 3,000 profit. I could make... 
10 to 20,000 if I really wanted to by stating and by setting up my merchants. But that takes time and brain power, so I'm not in the mood. Don't judge me, okay? Don't you judge me right now. Don't you do it. Have any idea about the Turkic culture in U5? It's not a uh, same to make culture, uh, Turkey culture in Levantine. I don't think U5 is going to have a culture map mode, by the way. So I think U5's culture is going to be similar to Viki 3's, as in it's going to be a lot more fluid, basically. It's going to have pops and it's going to have uh, a lot more fluid pops and culture. You know what I mean? Similar to Imperator Romo, so I guess you could say. So expect something like that for, for E5, whenever that's going to come out. That's just my opinion, though. But I, I know that uh, Paradox listens to the community a lot. And I know that a lot of people in the community have said that they would love to see, um, you know, pops and no mana and shit so in E5. And I'm pretty sure that Paradox knows about that. So I'm 100% certain that that's going to be the case. Since I have a girlfriend, I have big troubles playing E4. Send Marines, please. I mean, a new guide. Best Catalan chicken. Uh, thanks for all. Uh, the new world. Uh, what about the new world? You're my cute egg. Can confirm I play E4 and have no girlfriend. How do you know, Ludi? I'm just guessing, bro. This this is all guesses, bro. There, I, I, I have no idea. This is just me 100% guessing. 100% just 1 million percent guesses right there. 100% guesses. I'm just assuming. That's just me assuming, basically. Oh, shit. We forgot to kill the rebels here, guys. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Much mistake. Much not min-maxing. Oh, no. Oh, shit. There's more in the north. Holy fuck. Hello from Bratislava. Mayo and taxes like population development would be great. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I would like that as well. But I think Mayo Ataxis is too hardcore, man. So I can tell you for sure that EU5 is going to be a lot more easy. Like 10 times easier than EU4 is. EU5 is going to be aimed at more players. And as such, not at the hardcore player base that is right now in EU4. That's not going to be the, the target audience. Because those people are going to buy the game anyway, right? So why would you make an audience? Why would you make a video with the target audience? People that will buy it anyway. From a marketing perspective... And from uh, a developer's perspective, that makes zero fucking sense. As such, whether we like it or not, EU5 is going to be targeted towards the big people. It's going to be targeted towards the average Joe, the guy that plays it once in a blue moon. And he thinks it's similar to some other games he might have played in the past. So expect that as well. You know what I mean? Mobile game moment. So why should we pass to U4, U5? Because U4 is not going to get developed anymore. Why do you never play Hoi4? I played Hoi4. Oh my god, I love Hoi4, man. After the most recent uh, Arms Against Tyranny DLC, I freaking adore that freaking game. I play a lot of Hoi4, actually. What the hell are you talking about, brother? I don't do many Hoi4 videos. That is true. I should do more Hoi4 videos. That is a really good point you make there. A really good point, actually. Remember some time ago that one of your sub goals was to, that your wife would play the game? Did that ever happen? We didn't reach the sub goal. That was within a certain time frame and we didn't reach it. So, Hoi4 video win. I got a few Hoi4 videos I'm working on now. Let's see. Let's, let's see. I have one that I've released. I've uh, recorded a while back. I just never released it. Yeah. Maybe I will... Um, work on releasing that one maybe do the thumbnail and just release that one let's see oh my god so many freaking pop-ups so many rebels ah! that's how i feel right now in case you're wondering his arms are sweaty knees weak mom spaghetti yo what's going on william relu I tried you strap for Ching and VK3, got attacked by GB, feels bad, man. Yeah, you know what you did wrong there? You didn't attack Portugal in time. You fucked, you, you literally fucked up the only, the only thing that was worth doing at the start there. So I know, so I know you didn't follow the guide. You know how I know you didn't follow the guide? Because you freaking pressed the ban opium without attacking Ching of Portugal. 
Like I said in the freaking video, if you press the ban opium, they instantly attack you. The only reason they would attack you is when you press the ban opium. You did it, didn't you? Be honest with me. I know you did. I know you did. Remember a video with Ludi explaining the game to his wife? Oh, that was a long time ago. Three stability, hundreds of uh, thousands of rebels. Are you sure about that? Good if you have uh, Ayaki, Ludi, how to get the girlfriend while playing U4. I clicked too soon. I know you did. See, I knew it. <laughs> That's why I said in the video, click uh, the ban opium thing. Once you have either a truce or once you start the war with the Portuguese. So you don't um, need to worry about it, basically. Because you get the truce with the with the Brits after. Yeah, get the truce with the British. Da, na, 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 na. Actually, let's go and wipe out these guys here. Oh, we have 200 Diplomaticus. Ooh, ooh. Look at those modifiers, baby. I'm loving it. As they say in the mythic, mythical land of Kentucky. Where all the uh, fried chicken comes from. That's right. Ooh. That's a lot of schnapps there. Okay, baby. Oops, I did it again. Are you actually a history teacher? I am not a history teacher. I do have a bachelor's in history. Big difference. I never worked as a history teacher. I have a bachelor's in history. That's it. And I love history a lot. But working as a history teacher, I would either have an aneurysm or I would murder someone. Because I don't have the patience. In general. As a teacher. Because, you know, it's not like when you... you um, teach like little kids or some shit, right? Like when I was teaching little kids English in the Japan. That's different. Little kids are cute. But history, you have to teach to teenagers, at least, right? Teenagers are not cute. Teenagers... are not my problem, okay? <laughs> what nation would you say is the easiest to conquer the world with in this patch? Anyone, man. It's easy in this patch. You have so many things available. You have absolutism, you have freaking like a thousand trillion billion bazillion freaking admin efficiency. Look at this, freaking 67. I'm barely even trying to be honest with you. So yeah. Very easy. Oh. What do we have here? Tsushima? The ghost? Probably not. The Paradox Connoisseurs likes history. Shocker. I know, right? We need Luby to play CK3. Maybe I guess for being that age. As a teenager, it is true. Kids are cute. Yeah, of course kids are cute, man. You don't think kids are cute? Dude. One of the main things in life is having kids, raising them, and then making them a better person than you are. In my opinion, at least. That's what I think. But I mean, I know not everybody likes kids. So. Kids are puppies. Kids, man. Kids. Puppies are cute too. But, you know. Me and the miss has been trying to have kids for a while and eventually it's going to come. When that happens, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make them watch all the fucking awesome movies that I loved watching growing up. Like, I'm going to watch all the Star Wars. I'm going to watch all the Star Trek. I'm going to watch all of Stargate. Um, and I'm talking here both Atlantis and SG-1 and even Universe. Fuck it. Why not? Yeah, I guess the Universe too. Do you guys know that one of the guys that's acting in Star Trek, Star Stargate Universe is a streamer now? He streams uh, various games. David Blue. On Twitch, he streams. It's pretty cool. Will you stream on Twitch? I will. I will. Of course. 
Every everything uh, with the star in them, pretty much, yeah. Lord of the Rings cannot be can for oh bro, Lord of the Rings is the first one I'm gonna make them watch multiple times. So that one's gonna be the one that I'm gonna watch with them throughout their their years, right? So I'm gonna watch it when they're like really small. Then I'm gonna watch it when they're like, you know, 10, 12, Then when they're teenagers and shit. So yeah, gonna watch multiple times those. multiple times okay let's see where are we gonna send this guy we got a guy in chesapeake we don't where the fuck is the guy in chesapeake brother hmm. well whatever uh st lawrence there you go ship him over there literally because you know it's a ship hey <laughs> hey extended cut of course obviously you know when i was a kid i used to have extended cut um marathons watching lord of the rings extended cut we used to watch like um in the countryside right where i'm from we used to watch it like from early morning till late in the evening and then i'd go back home in like pitch black scary as fuck but worth it man because i didn't have the movies myself so i used to watch uh in one of my friend's house he had the the movies and we used to watch it on his playstation PlayStation that his brother sent him. His brother was working in Italy. In the 90s. Hit. My friend from the countryside had a brother that was working in Italy and managed to send him a PlayStation, the Lord of the Rings movies, and the Lord of the Rings games from his job in Italy. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> Greetings from Italy. What's up, bro? Officially engaged. Congratulations, Arch. How are you doing, man? Congratulations, man. I'm really happy for you, bro. Congrats, bro. When is the wedding happening? <laughs> I'm going out with my friends. Let's go. Totally not mafia. <laughs> um, vas Vasilize Delhi, then Pranoia him. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Oh, my God. What the fuck happened to Delhi? Oh. <gasps> Yo, Hawk becoming a legionary. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it, bro. Send pics. Let me check. You want me to show stream as well? Arch? I think these are a little bit personal. I, I probably shouldn't show stream, right? God damn you, handsome man. Wait a second. Wait a second. What the fuck is this green shit? The third picture is getting me a little bit confused, Arch. Where is this? You look like you're inside of a simulation. Show one. All right. I'm going to show which one? The simulation one, maybe? It's like decorations. Okay. Interesting. Guys, Arch is a good friend of mine. And he's uh, a really good E4 enjoyer as well. He plays Avecle E4. He Avecle is of the e 4 It was a studio. Oh, shit. I see. Okay. Right. Let me see the image. Image. Desktop. Oh, that's a little bit big. Congrats, man. I'm really happy for you guys. Really happy for you. You guys look cute. You look very cute. Damn, bro. Gotta be careful, man. You gotta be careful. One day she's gonna realize she can do better. I'm joking, okay? It's a joke. It's a joke. Yo, David with the Hungarian forens, my man. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. David Koblos. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for these super thanks. Appreciate that. Do not go hunting. Nah, 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 nah. Japan. Okay, okay. You got the dates for Japan. All right. We got a... I, I'm going to talk to you afterwards uh, so we can check something out, see what we can find here. First picture was uh, Nika. Rest was the next day at the studio. Right, okay. I don't know, man. Looks like you're inside of a mushroom crowd in that uh, picture there. 
do not go hunting. Good advice. Solid advice, actually, some would say. Solid. Sholid. So, where's my freaking fleets at, man? Where my gore? I feel like I'm missing a, sh a few ships. Am I missing ships? What the fuck? Is that the only fleet I have? I thought I had two fleets. Oh. When are we ending Ludi? We still got a few hours, Toby. Yes. Change primary culture to finish because they're the true successor of the... Can we ban this person? Can we ban him? I know she can, but she loves me, so it's, it works. That's good, man. What matters at the end of the day, you know, is if you guys love each other and you're there for each other, that's the most important thing, in my opinion. Hungarians respecting Romanians and vice versa. You love to see it. Bro, Hungarians and Romanians are basically the same people, man. Basically the same freaking people, in my opinion. Only thing different is uh, the language. That's it. But, like, if you really think about it, the customs and, like, a lot of shit is almost the same. It's almost the same. And as with pretty much everything, you know, the big people that are controlling everything in both our countries are trying to make us fight each other for shit that doesn't matter. Because end of the day, no matter if you're Hungarian or Romanian, no matter who owns Transylvania... The big corporations and the parliaments, either in Romania or Hungary, which are mostly owned by mafia dipshits, are still going to be owning all the companies and all the resources and you're going to be working as slaves for them. Both Romanians and Hungarians need to wake up and smell the fucking farts, in my opinion. Romania, Anschluss, Hungary. I mean, we are all part of the European Union, so it doesn't make much of a difference. Shit, I forgot to wait until I made peace uh, so I can... Oh, God. I keep forgetting. Did someone just bait me into attacking them? I think he did. Who, who did? Who, who was it? You scumbags. Oh, shit. It's because I got hegemony, didn't I? No. Wait, did I not get hegemony? No, I did. Don't they get debuff, uh, bad relations with you if you uh, become hegemon? I thought that was a thing. What's going on, Victor? I'm good, man. How are you doing, bro? What's going on, 6J? Happens everywhere. True. Very true. In fact, Hangry from Kingdom Come is Romanian. Wait, really? Honeymoon in Japan? Yes, he's going to have a honeymoon in Japan with a few friends as well. A group of friends. I mean, I guess it's not a honeymoon, is it? It's like a trip. Undemilitarized zone. Have you got any ideas about the Turkey culture in U5? It's not if it's not a shame to make Turkey culture in Levantine group. I think uh, Alp, Aaron, I think Turkic is going to not be a part of... I think every culture is going to be separate. So every culture is going to be... There's not going to be culture groups anymore. I think it's going to be very different, the system. So you don't need to worry about culture groups. I wouldn't worry about that at all. Come on, man. Okay, now, man, I need a lot of troops to assault them, don't I? Yeah. I need to take it, so I don't need to worry about this shit. Then Africa, literally only need to attack Kilwa and uh, Castile. That's it. Only two things left. Like, my brain, the way it works is, like, I need to prioritize shit. If I don't prioritize shit, then I, I lose focus, you know? That's why I focused on getting rid of Europe first, Africa, then Asia, and so on. Minus 20 relations. Oh, was it? Okay. So, I was right. You do get a debuff. Yeah, do get it, boy. Yeah, do. Woo, you, you, woo, woo, you. Don't worry, though. Like, uh, literally, these here are literally one war for almost all of them. Yonel Sfici, Romanian Tenlei. Why is food so cheap in Japan? Yo, thank you for the Tenlei, man. I appreciate it, bro. And food is not cheap in Japan, okay? Food is not cheap. Trust me. Vegetables are ridiculously expensive in Japan. And food, especially in the big cities, is really freaking expensive. 
but in some cases, some food is cheaper than Romania. That's true. Glory to Dormio, bro. <laughs> Do you think EU5 is going to be like you have Vicky 3? Yes. Very similar, actually. Very, very similar. I suspect. This is just my suspicion. I, suspicion? That's a Romanian word right there. My suspicion. I don't know if um, if it's actually going to be like it or not. Just, I'm assuming. It's just me assuming right there. Just guessing, really. Just guessing, bro. Oh, for fuck's sake. I need an army in the new world. I wish you could do this. Um, I got too many. I wish you could um, recruit. You could change your template in the new world as well from here. But you cannot. Sucks. Oh, wait. Is it because I already started recruiting? Might be because of that, actually. Might be because of that, yes. Alright. 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 10, 11, 15. I might cancel some of those so I can uh, use them for 4 after. Mick, now, why did you get uh, redacted? What did you say? You think E5 will be like Vicky 3? Greetings from Mediash. What's up, man? My mom uh, was in Mediash. She uh, went to the marathon there, bro. There was a Mediash marathon a while back, a few years ago, like 10, 15 years ago or some shit. She attended that one. She used to run in marathons and shit. Okay, now that's a problem. Because I don't have military access. The thing how I'm going to bypass that is this. I'm going to do go to war with these guys. This way, they're going to get military access for me through John 4. And I can use it then. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Can you show ideas? Yes, sir. How are you doing, Hound? We have right there. These are the ideas. By the way, the, the ideas for the Romans, holy fuck, they're strong. Holy fuck. Look at that. Admin efficiency, core creation cost minus 25, separatism, production efficiency plus 20, discipline, manpower plus 33%, land force limit, infantry combat ability. Fucking hell, bae. Fucking hell. I'm from Mediash. Damn. That's awesome. Uh, amount of current pronoyas, why coring and not inheriting? Um, I haven't been bothering with it too much, to be honest with you, man. I will make these guys our pronoia. No pronoyas, no, I think. I think I integrated all of them. Yeah. I had a lot of them. This run, I had a fuck ton. Like, early game, obviously, getting going pronoia is better. Because you don't waste your your uh, admin. It's free integration, obviously. And um, you can claim back a lot of cores and shit. But then, when I started getting bored, just doing the same shit again and again, it's just like, yeah. We'll, we'll make some pronoias, don't worry. We'll make Delhi a pronoia. Somebody said Delhi because they have a lot of cores, so that's a smart idea. We'll make some more pronoias around. I think we can do one in uh, the other parts of India as well. Why did you move to Japan? Uh, I moved to Japan because my wife is Japanese. So we decided to live in Japan. Better than Romania, right? What do you think about taking the Burgundian inheritance uh, in Byz with Byzantium early? It's not bad, but I personally like to stay... Um... I mean, yeah. No, it's not bad. You can try and rush for the Burgundian inheritance. You can also try and rush for the HRE Emperorship early on. It's doable, actually, as the Byzantines. Very, very doable. But I like a more classic game, personally. So, whatever fancy you tickle, right? Or whatever they say. Is it theoretically possible to stack so many settler increase that you can fully colonize a province in one month? I don't know, actually. I think the highest I've been um, settlers and settlers highest I've had was like 300 something, maybe. Yeah, I don't think you can get a thousand. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think you can get a thousand. Shit, man, we need to have peace, bro. I said we have to have peace a few moments ago, but yeah, I kind of forgot about it. Okay, last war. 
I don't know why I attacked Delhi, bro. I shouldn't have done the Delhi freaking war. All right, let's do this first. Boom. There you go. And with that out of the way, we're going to be positioning our troops around here because next war is going to be, of course, against uh, these guys. These guys are just killing off rebels. Um, and that's it there. Let's quickly finish these two wars so we can kill off the uh, separatists. Then we can attack Russia. One big war. How many wars do we need for them? 500. So that means three wars we can completely wipe out Russia because we're using the imperialism CB and we have a few other modifiers in so three maybe four wars we can fully annex Russia so we're going to do a couple of truce breaks um, this is probably going to be one war or two wars maximum for all this is one war for everything here so we technically only have a few wars left one war for Persia all of this shit what's going on Edward how are you doing man are you a Christian no nope, I am actually an atheist do not believe in any religion but hey, I respect everybody's uh, right to believe in their religions, of course. Everybody can believe whatever they want. I'm cool with it. As long as it makes you happy, makes you feel better, you know, that's what matters. Colonize with France, the Antilles claimed by England. I had minus 20, 200 relations with the Pope and England didn't colonize after, said. Why don't you just click core all instead of coring every province? I like to... Uh, I like to click every province. I know a lot of people ask this in the videos as well. Why don't you click core all? It's like, why do I cancel cores of uh, countries? You don't need to. Realistically, it makes no fucking difference, right? I like to, though. And also, I don't like the way that the AI prioritizes when you click core all. I like to prioritize the cheaper ones first. Yo, Blatko, thank you for the 20 Bulgarian. I'm not sure what the currency is in Bulgaria. Newtons? Bulgarian Newtons, maybe? And he, I like the sticker, man. That's like a Japanese Shiba thingy. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much, man. Thank you very much, bro. That's your first Super Chat on live stream. Thank you so much for choosing me with your first Super Chat on live stream, sir. You're a Buddhist. No, I'm not a Buddhist. I'm, I, I don't believe in anything at all. I love you guys for this game for a long time. How long have you been playing this campaign? This campaign, uh, since the patch... Actually, since before the DLC came out. So, I guess two months now. <laughs> Maybe three months. Thought you were a Johannes, Ludi. What is a Johannes? Are you Romanian diaspora or live in Romania whole life? Um, I lived in Romania for 19 years. And then I lived outside of Romania for the rest. Did a Russia campaign yesterday. They're super strong right now. In U4? Yes, they are really strong. I agree. Lev! Right! I remember now. Lev, because it's similar to Leo. Right. You guys copied my my currency, huh? I can never finish a campaign. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I feel that. I've got a lot of unfinished campaigns myself, so I know what you mean. I know what you mean, bro. Bru? Bru? Brudir? Brudor? Wait, so we're at war with Shagatai as well? I think so, yeah. Okay, in that case, you know what? Let's bring a couple more armies there. Say you guys and you guys. Boom, boom. Let me show you what I mean, right? Oh, shit. Is the game going to crash? Oh, my God. I thought the game was going to crash. Let me show you what I mean. Look at that. Shagatai is literally... And this is not a co nation, by the way. This is 50%. Think about that for a second. This is not co-belligerated. We can fully annex them. And we will in this war. Look at that. Even though the war score is 42. 80. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. 42 would be 84 because they're not co-belligerated, right? A doesn't matter because we're going to kill everybody anyway. So that's that. Zungar surprisingly appeared. Zungar usually appears as a rebellion of the Oirats, also appears from an event, or you can form Zungar when you choose from the three options of Tibet. That's also an option. What's going on, uh, Yorgovan? 
I've been sick these past couple of days, but enjoying your videos and uh, from others. Have you played Baldur's Gate 3? You're the second person to ask me that. I have played when it released. I haven't played since. Would you guys want me to do a Baldur's Gate 3 video, though? Because I feel like that might be something I would actually enjoy. Very good movie. Can I, uh, yeah, I always get to 1650 and stop. I feel that, Daniel. Usually me too, like around 16 something, I stop with my campaigns as well. Because I just get too strong. It's pointless. There's no challenge, really. I just watched Kingdom of Heaven and I really love the movie. Have you seen it? I saw it really a long time ago, like 10 years ago or something. It's a great movie. I love it. Yes, please. BG3 is amazing. I love BG3. What browser do you use? I use two. I use uh, Opera GX and I use um, Google Chrome. All right, maybe I'll do a Baldur's Gate 3 if you guys want to see it. Lim good good thing you let me know. Because I I like, um, in general, I like like the, that type of RPG. Um, I really enjoy, so. It's good to know. Wait, what the fuck is going on here? You guys stay there. Okay, should we bring this army here in case we're going to have rebels in that area? We might have some rebels there. You guys want to see the, the culture map mode, by the way? I haven't checked it in a while. Do you want to see how many cultures we have up to Roman now? Chat, is that something you'd like to see from me, bro? Huh? 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 Wait, Butuan exists. What the fuck? Isn't that here? <gasps> Did they break away from me? No, that's bone. Wait. Where the fuck is Butuan? Oh, they broke away from the Japanese. Okay, I see. All right, cool, cool, cool. I was wondering, like, I don't remember getting those guys uh, in the first place. Time to start streaming tabletop uh, campaigns. What is your war, war score cost? Um, it depends on what CB I use. Because right now I have 67% admin efficiency. And I have a lot of war score cost reductions from the monuments. I got... I think like a couple of them, right? This one, me minus 15 for other religions. And I'm the only Orthodox nation aside from the Russians now. So basically everybody else. Yeah, everybody else is non-Orthodox, I think. Let me check. 15 nations Orthodox. What? Where? The fuck? Oh, my colonies. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Never mind. Okay. Hey, we got a new leader. Who's a... Uh... Um... Right. What was I going to say? I forgot. Let's bring these guys over here to Delhi so we can piece Delhi out next. Delhi has a lot of cores, so we can make them into a Pronoia, right? Yeah, we can. That's a fuck ton of cores. Eh, it's a fuck ton of cores. But like, here's my dilemma. Is it worth making a Pronoia when John Poor is basically two wards from complete annexation almost, right? I don't know, man. And I don't care about the... I mean, sure, it is basic. I don't need to waste any admin points on it. So I guess that's the main thing about it, right? The fact that I don't need to waste the admin points. I mean, everything is so cheap to core, though. Like, look at this. This is 19 development and it's 65% cheaper. And a lot of other areas can be even cheaper depending on if I have claims and shit, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I subbed your channel. Where is my wallet now? Sir, I believe at this point it's somewhere in uh, Bulgaria. White piece Afghan since you get cores on them. Do I get on all of them? I don't get cores on them. I don't get cores on any of them. None of the Afghans.
You trying to trick me, sir? Are you from Afghanistan? You trying to make me not kill Afghanistan? Huh? I see right through your mis mischief. I see right through it. How old are you, Ludi? I'm 32 or 33. I actually don't remember. How old am I? 1991. Uh, 20, 32. I'm 32. So 33 this year. Next year. I think, right? Yeah. Ludi with no paper mana. I'd rather core it than get it for free. True. True. I get you, bro. I get you. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. Skibbity be boom. Skibbity dum. Skibbity dum. Culture conversion moment. Yeah, let's check the culture convert the culture map mode. Roman. Raise your hand if you're Roman and you know it. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Almost all of Hispania be Roman, yo. Hell yeah. I really love how uh, it changes the um, the um, the names of the provinces, man. That is such a cool feature. I love it. I lo 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 love it. Oh shit! We have one hundred and ten thousand ducats, bro. Chad, you need to remind me to use up my money. I keep forgetting. I think I already built most of these, didn't I? And the ones that are stated already. Uh, Built some of these, I guess. Why not? Built some more of these, I guess. Oh, one ducat flat for some of those. Holy shit, man. That is of the big money. I guess manpower is probably my biggest issue. So let's just continue to build up manpower buildings. And some of these. Man. Pointless at this point. Yeah. Most of these are pointless at this point. There, I built some more, guys. Please make Rome a Roman. Wait, is Rome not Roman? <gasps> no way. There we go. What kind of heretic doesn't make Rome Roman? This looty guy. Unbelievable. Tell you what, let's spend extra at Diplo and just make all of the Italian Peninsula Roman. How's that sound, chat? You like the way that sounds? When will we make a video, for another video from CK3? I will make one soon. I'll make one soon. Uh, I haven't made many uh, CK3 videos. I got a few Hoi4 videos coming soon, actually. But January, I'm likely going to make mostly Hoi4, VK3 Hoi4, and um, I don't know. Probably going to make some other games as well. Maybe some Tarkov content, because I really love playing Tarkov. So, My wallet, Chaticus. There's no PC specs for late game E4. This, the CM game just starts running through uh, shortly after the League War. You're not wrong about that. Yeah, true. That's the reason why I do World Conquest as uh, Byzantium, getting lands for free and concentrate on bird mana. And because of my royalty, loyalty to the Roman Emperor, SPQR. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Exactly. Exactly what it's about, being loyal to the Roman Emperor. If you're not Roman, what even is the point? You know what I'm saying, chat? You know what I'm exactly saying here? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, can we actually vassalize them yet? No. Why can we not vassalize them, actually? We pretty much have all the provinces, don't we? Oh, got to turn my heater. I'm heading to bed. Have a good one. Have a good one, man. Arch, have a great day, bro. And um, I'll see you next time, man. Thank you for joining us today. Forget Hoi 4. CK4 needs a guide video. Wait, CK4? Hold up a second. Hello, handsome. What's going on, Etienne?
I'll be handsome when I lose another 10 kg, man. I need to get down to like at least 80 kg to be healthy, you know what I mean? Right now, I'm 87. That's not Gucci, bro. I need to lose at least, at least, least, least 7 more kg. And then we can start, uh, you know, getting fit. <laughs> We can get swole. <gasps> Why do I keep making these weird noises? I don't know. It just do be like that sometimes. Where do you live? I live in your basement. <laughs> now you know. See? Now you know. No, I live in Japan. I live in Japan. In your basement in Japan. No, it's, not, it's, a, it's a bad joke. Sorry. Do you hear sirens when the North Koreans launch missiles? Nope. I just hear my wife saying... Oh, those idiots in North Korea launched missiles again. And I'm like, oh, no. So, anyway. <laughs> What's going on, Vlad? How you doing, man? Buna ziua. Well, it's technically night for me. So, it's buna sera. Bru. Bru, bru. Oh, but Ludi, you could be making 20,000 Dukatenstein, bro. You not play efficient. Why? Huh? Why why Japan, Ludi? Why not, man? Why not Japan? Japan's an awesome nation. I love Japan. Did you guys know it only took me five years to get a three years visa? <laughs> uh, indubile. Indubile. In indubile. Indubile. Okay. Should we vassalize him? Yeah, fuck it, I guess. No! Shit! I forgot to take my troops out of there! Oh, we still have access. Thank God. I was about to be like, Oh no! La 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 Skibbity boom, skibbity bay. Where my hoe is at? Yo, lippy now. Uh, Roman Empire World Conquest of it fully in Latin when? Oh my god. Fully in Latin. What about 30% in Latin? Hmm. Another trash ear. Awesome. Na 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 na. Okay. Oh, we can core more stuff. Yay. Do they have any actual fortifications or do I have to actually siege every single freaking province down? I feel like I might have to siege every freaking province down, aren't I? Is this enough war score to fully annex them? No, probably not. Nope. No, 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 no. They be like, no, 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 don't. Schnapple did my heart. Okay, we gain more cores. Awesome. Cool. Let's bring these guys here because we might have some rebellions in that area. Uh, we can upgrade shit. Okay. What is that? The Trakai Castle. World's most useless monument. Oh, actually, no. We have 20%... Wait, we got 20% reform progress from this one? That's not bad at all. How did I not see that before? I do have max reforms now, so it doesn't make any difference, though. Alright. More Diplo for the Diplo gods. We're going to have to wait a little bit here with um with the peace deal of Afghanistan. We got to peace out your buddies in uh, Chagatai first. They've been real nasty. They've been real naughty as well. They also don't have any freaking forts. How do you not have any forts except your capital, Shagatai? Like, seriously. Who does that? Oh, we got the atmospheric engine. Vicky 3 reference, guys. Vicky 3 reference, right there. 
Nothing more chill than Ludi with bread and soup at noon. Oh my god, I love that situation there, bro. Bread and soup? Fuck yeah. You're living the Vida Loca, bro. Um, What's auto siege? He means the carpet siege thingy. This one. Where is it? Fucking... This one. You assign certain provinces and it automatically is dog shit. It. Better just do it yourself. Yes, I dog shit mechanic. Okay. Almost there. Almost there, boys. Almost there. We're about to peace out. Ooh. You guys can actually come by the border here because we're going to be attacking. Um, once we finish with the rebels, we're going to attack uh, John Poor. John Poor. The famous John Poor. Yo, Waldo with the five gifted memberships. Thank you so much, Waldo. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Waldo. That means a lot, man. Thank you very much, bro. Holy shit. We got Alex that got it, Conrad, Thomas, and uh, Ice Wolf. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. And Hound! Hound got a uh, gifted membership. That's awesome. Thank you so much for that. The auto siege button is nice in theory, but I think it's uh, still better to manually carpet siege. Yeah, exactly what Hound just said. Exactly that. It's nice in theory, essentially. It would be amazing if it actually was, you know, working as intended. But it's not. So it suck ball. As they say. It suck big ball. Alright, um... Can we actually peace you out now, please? Fucking hell, man. Almost there. Do they have any forts I'm not seeing somewhere? Wait. Oh, no. That's not a fort. That is not a fort, is it? No. Is Ulm already gone? Long gone, Lucas. Long gone. Are you going to finish this campaign, this stream? I'll try, Brennan. Let's see. Could you say your classic schnapps, please? Schnapps. Do you prefer it when uh, grand strategy games have more RNG or less RNG? I like more RNG, personally. I like RNG. Yo, Hound becoming a Centurion for 14 months. Thank you, Hound. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much, man. Hound, Simon, and Arch, and a few other guys here, they're, they've been supporting the channel since basically day one. I'll always remember you guys for Victor as well. A lot of people. There's a lot, a lot of people. And yeah, it means the world to me that you guys supported me for so long. Like, I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't have been able to grow like I did without all your support. So thank you guys. Freaking 10 gifted, you freaking bastard. What the hell, man? <laughs> Brother. Alan, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the gifted subs, man. Thank you very, very much, dude. You're freaking crazy, dude. Hound gifted... I remember uh, Hound was one of the first to give insane freaking amounts of donations and freaking subs and everything. You're making me shine out. <laughs> Pass on the good vibes to others. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, man. Don't forget Revolution. Oh, thank you for reminding. I actually forgot. About <laughs> thank you so much for reminding. Thank you, Hound. Appreciate it, man. You guys have a lot of, uh, you have a lot of, uh, emotes now you can use, chat. Baby, we don't have light, light bulb in the other room, too. Which room? The storage places. The one here? Next to us? Next no, to my room? Oh. Did it die? No, no, no light. We need to change the light bulb. You don't even know how to change the light bulb? Are you a man? I'm not. Yeah, obviously you're a virgin. I'm a squirrel. No, you're a pig. I'm a pig. <laughs> yes, this is trolls. Um, okay, I'll change. I'll change. Uh, we need to buy one first, though. Only 80%. Wow, that's nothing. Okay, so now let's deal with uh, freaking rebels. Kill these guys off here. Where is it? Where the hell is it? How many uh, Ludi does it take to change a light bulb? How many Romanians does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> Toxic wife. <laughs> Call an electrician. Ludi embraces enlightenment. No need for light bulbs. <laughs> Got cooked. 
Use the monies. Yes, yes. We will. We will. Don't worry. Oh, fucking hell, man. Can I release these assholes? Oldenburg. Olden fucking Berg. Oldenburg. Olden, Oldenburg. Chat, if I pass Oldenburg, let me know. Did I pass them? Wait, can you not release these fuckers anymore? If they're a part of, if they've got the revolution in. I think it's just because it's occupied, isn't it? Yeah, it's just because it's occupied. I was worried there for a second. Uh, fucking Oyo, bro. Where's Oslo, man? We need to release Oslo, bro. Oslo, Oslo. Seriously, I'm not seeing Oslo here. Chat, are you seeing it? It's got to be in HOE province, right? So... Berg? Come on. Oldenburg. There you go. We got it. All righty. Here we go. Wait, where's that rebel? Whack a rebel. Everybody, let's play Whack a Rebel. My favorite game. You passed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw it now. My bad. My bad. I <laughs> passed it. How many times did I pass it? Go for O fast, then instead. Oliver, what's going on, man? Any plans to continue your Riga campaign? Had a lot of fun uh, with them. Uh, I might continue the Riga one. I did have a lot of fun with Riga, not gonna lie. I actually had a lot of fun with that one. Why not give Rebels lands? It makes uh, a country. Do we have Rebels there? I don't think we have Oldenburg in Rebels, did we? I didn't see him. Nothing beats uh, Ludi's uh, Byzantine stream after a long shift. Merry Christmas, guys. Yo, Imperial Watchdog, thank you very much for the 10 euros. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that very much, bro. Um, and Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody. Hope you had a, an, an easy long shift, though, man. Well, watching your stream earlier, I heard that you got two teeth removed. Just by curiosity, how much could it uh, cost to get dental implants placed in Japan? Uh, just a ne Navarrese dentist asking, how much would an implant be in Japan, baby? Well, Japan. Like just the money we pay, I guess, because we have national insurance in Japan. So it's covered by national insurance, 70%. Like, remember, like, the one of the implants, uh, the doctor was asking stuff from, like, the local man, which is, like, $500 or something. 450 500 So I guess 4 four fifty five hundred bucks per implant, yeah. The cheapest no, would be, for, right? The cheapest one. Cheapest one, yeah. Uh, Christoph, thank you for becoming a legionnaire, sir. Thank you very much, man. Greetings from Brazil. Merry Christmas, Ludi. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. What is your 25k army composition? It's uh, 25k because it's two armies, but I keep them separate because I um, I, I have to. Otherwise, I take a lot of attrition. So technically, it's 3416, but I just separate them when I'm not at war. So like, I'm missing a few here and there because. I'm too lazy to do it properly. You a virgin? Maybe. No, maybe, yes. <laughs> Very virgin. How are you after the gallbladder surgery? I'm better, man. I'm a lot better. I was having massive pains beforehand, so I'm really glad that I did the surgery, you know? And the stomach acid. Yeah, yeah. The, it was also, like, it was triggering my stomach uh, acid reflux a lot. It was really triggering, triggering it a lot, right? So after I did it, not, not much acid reflux afterwards, like very little acid reflux by comparison. I haven't had actually, since I had the surgery, I never had issues with acid reflux anymore. Monsieur Optis, what's up? How are you doing, Camille slash Monsieur Optis? How you been, man? Really enjoying your Vicky 3 videos. Merry Christmas to you too. I'm glad you're enjoying the Vicky 3 videos. Pissed off Hiss and Kaifa can't form how you bids. I'm pissed off Hiss and Kaifa and Trebizond didn't get any flavor personally. Your wife is funny. Baby, they say you're funny. 
No you. No you. Best reply ever. Guys, I'm bored to click this fucking button. It's okay. We got like 5k. It's enough. You eating KFC for Christmas like the rest of Japan? Well, I got the issues with the teeth, right? So right now I'm not eating anything for Christmas. I got I ordered crab. Yeah. Our Christmas tradition is we don't eat chicken or turkey. We eat crab. Just me and Rudy tradition. Did you mm. hear? Mm. Do I need to wait for my truce to finish? Or... Can I just declare imperialism and can I crush the revolution? Or do, does it have to be uh, after the truce? I'm actually not sure because I haven't played in late game for a while. Victor Martins as well with the five... I'm guessing Reais? Brazilian? Looking forward to more Hoi4 videos. We need the guidance of Lord Luby. Thank you for telling me you like my Hoi4 videos, man. That means a lot, bro. I actually want to do a lot more Hoi4 videos. I'm glad to see that people enjoy the Hoi4 videos. Thank you, bro. And thank you for your first super uh, super on a live stream. Appreciate that, man. It's better for you to click manpower building than income. I'm having a nice Christmas at Grandma's tomorrow. Hope you have a good time with uh, Grandma Lenny. Is Christmas a thing in Japan? Because it isn't a Christian country, isn't it? Um, Yes, it is a, a thing, but it's not... Uh, Christian thing in Japan. You know, Japan Christmas is like, you know, you spend with your girlfriend, boyfriend, if you're single, you're a loser. Like, Damn. you know, like a family tradition. Is Oldenburg a vassal? Yes, we just released them so we can uh, crush the revolution. Can you speak Japanese? A little bit of Japanese. Yeah, revolutionary yeah, Rome when? Well, the chat voted that we don't become revolutionary, so. Rest of stream in Japanese. Play E4 at 11 p.m. and it's uh, tough by 2 a.m. Bird the game, release province, not vassal. Uh, you cannot release the province, though. Wait, right? No, you can't. Why the fuck did I release the nation? What? No, that's a good point. Less bird. Fuck it. The other half is a, ha a savage half. Happy holidays from Pakistan. Ludi, love you, E4 content. Yo, Hassan, thank you for the five pounds, man. Appreciate that, bro. Thank you very much, man. Which part of uh, Pakistan are you from, man? I, uh, I got one of my favorite jackets from... Um, which uh, station? Lahore? Lahore? I think Lahore. Islamabad or Lahore? I don't, yeah, remember. I don't remember. I got it from one of those airports. Really good shit. Uh, it's uh, real leather and it costs so little. Like, how much did I pay for it, baby? Lenny, I'm from Romania. It, it costs like 10 bucks. Real leather jacket. Really good quality. Like goat leather, I think. Lenny, I'm goat from or Romania. something like that. Lahore? Yeah, I think I got it from Lahore. Oh, you're from Lahore. Okay, okay. It's a, it's a big city, Lahore. Very industrial city. Tried in Japan and addicted. Japan does a Christmas just so good. Yo, when I got the the um, 30th of September. Did we release? Oh, shit. Let me check. We might have already released. Let's see. Oh, shit. Too late, boys. Too late. We saved it. Fuck. Ah, it is what it is. Baby, I have a gift for you. Mm. Can you throw this away? No, I got to. Then you didn't put the bag yet. It's okay. Just leave me alone. Oh my no, god. No, no, I'll never leave you alone. Why are you marrying me? Huh? I'm lucky I marry you. You're the best. Where's my wallet? I took it. Is that yours? No. Where's mine? It's yours. I got it. Where's mine? You don't have. I stole it already. Problem? Go back to Romania. You go back to Romania. You just marry me to get your job in Japan, bitch. I know. You it. stole my job. <laughs> <laughs> go back to Romania. Play with the horse. What the hell? Yo, Christoph, thank you for the 50 Polish... Uh, 
Newton burgers, right? That's what you guys have. Polish Newton burgers. I am pretty sure that's what you guys have. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, bro. Really means a lot, I like the pierogi. Pierogi. Where is pierogi? My, where is my pierogi? Pierogi is pretty good, yeah. You Have you even tried it? I, I tried pierogi. I love pierogi. Well, I guess we kind of fucked ourselves a little bit here, didn't we? Yeesh. Pilogi, pilogi, pilogi. We have a pilogi in Japan also called a gyoza. Oh, gyoza, oishi. What the fuck? Why do I have Zungar? Gyoza. The fuckers. Nani kore? Iyo ho? Hoi ho? Yeah. Victoria Street? Pilogi. No, I didn't want to give it back to Oldenburg. Oh my god, bro. Virgin so I wanted to give it back to Munster. Gyoza. Uh, oh, love, I love small gyoza. Brain. Actual small brain. Now these uh, virgin boys getting, getting very shy. Like after I started. Release it in a peace deal. Yeah. Unexpected, uh, you know, girls start talking. Yeah, I'll I'll seize uh, Munster and I'll release it in a peace deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I can just release Oldenburg actually in a peace deal. And then I can attack it after. Yoza's god tier. She's roasting her. That's uh, love right there. True. Girls scare the average paradox gamer. This is true. This is very true. You scared of me? No. Did you put the cream on your face today? Hmm. Can I put no? I cannot believe I'm actually on time for one of these things. Unwanted take. Oh. <laughs> You're hiding your face. You're hiding your face, right? No. Eh? No? No. Nah. Okay. Yeah, middle. Yeesh. Ah, you didn't hide! <laughs> Well, guys, the Ludi's face is very dry, so I need to apply face lotion, you know? he I'm asking him, put the face lotion, but he want me to do it. That's why he's keep, like, you know, skipping the part. Oh, hello. This is true. I like it when you do it. Man, I cannot believe we have freaking Zungar as a freaking tributary, brother. Fucking Zungar. Um, Crazy scientist, thank you. Now you... Ha! Who's the toxic wife? <laughs> I'm not toxic, I'm just too honest because I'm Romanian. What do you want? I'm just too honest. Yes, this is true. Very honest. Exactly. Mr. Rudy, why if we don't know what is dressed, we only have basement air to me. <laughs> Guys, you need to find the Asian girlfriend to take care of your skin. Huh? True, guys. That's true. Asian girl gonna take care of your skin for sure. Huh? What do you know? No, you take care of my skin, no? Who else did? That's it, just you. Nani, I didn't do nothing. Nah. Do you want me to lick your face? No. I'm innocent. Huh. Sorry. You are not innocent. Sorry. Go away. Nah. No. You're making me shy. Leave me alone. You shy? Freaking revolutionary republic, Oldenburg. It's all their fault. How did we lose that freaking battle, bro? <laughs> How the hell did we lose that battle? <laughs> bro. Ay, 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 ay. Well, actually, maybe I can give them Oldenburg. Yeah. If 
Fuck it. <gasps> Shit! I lost it because... It's all good. Everything is fine, chat. Everything is fine. Revoke the chorus, Ludi. Yeah, it's all good. It's fine. It's fine. The world is okay. We're going to attack these guys in a couple of years. Or just now. Do we need to not to have a truce with them though? Do we actually have to have a truce or can we revoke the the can we destroy the center of um I don't remember. Do we can we destroy the center of revolution with this CB? Let's check. No, we cannot. We need to have a truce with them, bro. Uh. Okay. I don't want to wait until 1735 though, you know what I mean? Ludi didn't cancel the course, revoke the course. Is AI Ludi, the real Ludi is on vacation. Ludi tree is breaking like he is made of paper. I mean, it's 10, 10 mana points to stab up, so it's like literally nothing. Okay, let's attack these guys as well. Um, Cobbler Jade Gujarat, don't need to, we'll be fine. Let's go. And let's go. Mm. So what's the play here? What should we do? Should we make them release Munster? Which means we have six years truce, right? That's nine years faster. And then I guess we get the CB to crush the revolution. If we do this, how many years is it then? It would be 15, right? Because technically that I'm not sure. Let's let's save and check. Yeah, it would be fifteen. I don't want fifteen. All right, uh, fucking hell, man. What modifiers are those? I'll check. I'll show you in a sec. I'll show you in a sec. Or annex and release province. Oh, true. But then it's gonna release back to Oldenburg, isn't it? It's gonna release back to Oldenburg though. White piece for shorter truce. True also. You should do E4, U2 or U3 then. Can't you own the province and sell it to someone else then attack them? Uh, no, I guess it has to be a truce, man. If it's not a truce, it, no truce. So you get the CB to crush the revolution. Uh, you cannot truce break, Vlad. That's the problem. Guess we can just do this, right? Yeah, just do this. White piece, five years truce. So in five years, we get rid of the revolution then. It's better than nothing.
We can wait for five years, not the end of the world, right? Any new mechanics that you would like to be added or changed to EU4? Um, I would like to see a better population system personally, and I'd like to see a much better trade system than the one that we have right now, which I think is absolute snaps, you know? It's really no Gucci at all, the current one. Current one is basically poop. We got to change it. Change it to something better. Even the, the Imperator Rome trade system is better than EU4 one in my opinion. I'd even like to see an Imperator Rome style trade system. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh, should they actually have an army? Okay. Pull back then. Go at it together. Let's bring some more troops. I love you too. There we go. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Oh my god, they wiped out my entire army in the south. Completely forgot about these guys. How many troops they got? 118,000. Okay. But we probably should get more units. Yeah. You know what? We've got so much money. We've got so much manpower. Let's actually get some units. Shall we? Um, boom. And boom. And boom. My land force limit went down significantly. And I think I know why. Let's check. Yep. Need to get rid of that shit. No, don't need that. Some of these, why not? And let's build some soldiers' households. Don't worry, E5 trade DLC is coming in 2028. Bruh. Bro. Why you have to say this, bro? To max out our monuments as well whilst we're at it now. There we go. Boom. Check a luck of doom. This one placed merchant power modifier. Trade center upgrade cost. <clears throat> yeah, okay. This one again. Ugh. Not amazing, but I mean better than nothing, right? Want a population system make China overpowered like hell and Scandinavia becoming like a zero zero zero? Well, the thing is, you could have like a population system, but then also you could have like a, like some sort of secondary system that it's like the pop like in Viki three, right? Just because you have a lot of population doesn't mean that you're the best country in the world. There's other things that matter, like legislation that uh, you know nerfs the population big time. I'm not saying you should have legislations in EU5, but something similar to that would be nice in my opinion. Just saying. I don't know. Just an opinion, right? Monument in Kiev. Is that not fully upgraded? Let me check. If you click shift monument, it goes 10 times. Yeah, I know, I know. I like doing the click, yes. Um, we could actually accept Japanese. Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. Let me just make one of these a full state. There you go. Where is it, Japanese? If I need to wait for a month? Okay. Did it not pass one month already? Okay, now it did. Um, Sakoku, Sakoku. It's 
say Goku to Goku. That is 20 development though, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. Why did I have to scroll down like that? That's weird. Anyway, so we accepted that so we can uh, start upgrading this monument here. Oh my fucking god, it was the other one. Fucking hell, man. I forgot there's two in Japan, right? We accepted the wrong Japanese culture, basically. I don't have Diplo now. Fuck my life. Oh, well. All right. Let's see what's going on here. We need one more merchant. Uh, where are we going to put him? We're going to put him in here. Let's put him here. Monument and brand. It's fully upgraded, I think. Yep. Because it's uh, Roman. Is an ex uh, if you have Roman culture, it uh, considers it its own. Do you know if you take the Ohio decision, you get 35 Riz bonus? Wait, what? Do you get ripped in India again? Oh, shit. Forgot. My bad. My bad, brother. Let's send the units to siege. Boom. And let's send these bad boys. We kind of want a white piece with Gujarat. Don't need to care about him too much right now. Uh, actually, maybe we can go full balls on it. It's fine. Is the game crashing? Having an aneurysm? What's going on? Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Huh? Okay, it didn't crash. Okay, we are good, bro. Oh, shit, I forgot about these units completely. Um, I have a truce with Transoxiana. Okay. Oh, actually, we can start the war with the Russians, too. Fucking 200,000? Bro. 250? That means I actually have to pay attention to that war, then. How is the truce with these guys finishing? All right. Um, 24. So let's say we time it after this one. The Russian war and um, the kill one war. So we get rid of all of African bits and all of um, Eastern Europe bits, basically. Improved steam engines. Fuck yeah. Uh, ba, ba, ba. What's going on, Yanis? 1503. When girlfriend guide. Are you following Japanese KFC tradition? No, not really. I will... Um, I will oh my god, what the fuck is... Is it actually having an aneurysm? Bro. Fucking hell, man. I will... Um, be having soup. Because I don't have any teeth right now, so that's kind of why. Wait a second. Let me just cancel their alliances. That's okay with me. Cancel alliances is fine. Because I'll attack them after directly. What is the war score here? 161. Yeah, should be fine. Wait, we just gained a furnace somewhere? Hell yeah. How many furnaces do we have, actually? Um, maybe you guys can go take care of that shit. Yep. Oh, that's not their capital, is it? No, this is the capital. 
send some more artillery there and you guys siege the rest of that shit oh they're getting attacked oh no that's my vassal never mind never mind what are you guys doing I guess I need you in Lubeck for now Because people being angry, Paradox de developers have rebelled. The reason you switch uh, between Twitch and YouTube, ah, it's just like whenever I feel like it, man. I'll be honest with you, I kind of keep uh, E4 content on YouTube. And on Twitch, I do like uh, just chatting, Tarkov, like stuff like that, you know? That's basically what I'm doing in a nutshell. Khin Hanut Shell. Some of these generals are freaking dog shit. Like, actually. Wait, what the fuck? Damn, I gotta be careful with these Indians. They do be fucking, they do be big time fucking. This one of mine as well? No, it's the Pasai. Okay. VR Gucci. Wait, how come Pasai has this? Didn't I have this? This is a cloves. How come? What? When the hell did they take that? I need to do some more expansion in here. What the freaking hell, man? Arturos. Been around since you first started on YouTube. I've watched with joy as your channel has grown. You deserve your success. Merry Christmas. Dude, thank you so much for the $50, my man. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that, bro. I know you've been around. I've seen you around, Arturox. Arturos, I, I, I know you, um, I think you've talked in chat before, didn't you? I, I, I don't know if I remember you in, uh, comment section as much, but I think I remember you from chat. I appreciate it. Even if you're a lurker or if, if you're active, I really appreciate it, man. And it means the world to me that you're supporting me. Like, you guys basically allow me to do what I love doing, which is making content, making videos, and, you know. Being useful, I guess, in a way, by providing entertainment. I hope I am, though. I know sometimes I can be really fucking cringe, and I try not to be cringe sometimes, but the truth is, when I try not to be cringe, I get cringier. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I really don't like your anti-Balkan attitude. Japan made you weak. It's time to return, Ludi. It's time. No! You cannot take me back. No! Any earthquakes lately? I had one today, another one yesterday. Your videos are the best. I appreciate you, Brandon. Thank you for watching them, man. I know my videos are not amazing, but I will try and improve. I, I am trying constantly to improve. Next year, I have some big plans that I kind of wanted to implement this year, but I didn't. And I, I want to implement them next year. I want to. Juan, what's up, bro? Con is amazing. Love you, man. Hey, guys, you guys should check out Juan Fixed. He's also a Vicky3 uh, streamer and YouTuber. He does it in Spanish, though. Really awesome dude. I, I remember he... This man, this crazy dude, literally went into in uh, his home, home uh, country of Peru. He went on the streets and he posted posters of me to subscribe to my channel when I had the 100,000 subs goal. <laughs> that was insane, man. That was the highlight of my content creator, you know, like weird stuff that ever happened. I appreciate it, bro. I'll always remember that, Juan. You're amazing, man. Thank you so much for that, bro. I love you, man. I enjoy your cringe when I was in the waiting room at the hospital for eight hours. Binge the schnapps of you then. I appreciate that, Milsty. I hope everything was okay with the hospital, though, man. You're the best. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Balik. Romanian PewDiePie discount. D you know that meme with PewDiePie at home? Like, you know, the burger at home. This is like PewDiePie at home, right? <laughs> Best ideas for Animist uh, Aztecs. Animist Aztecs. Why, though? Your videos are great. Keep up the good work. I appreciate it, Azurla. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, bro. What PC do you have? Um, 3080, basically. The, the graphics card. 
this year we will have something better than that before the year. Nah, don't worry, man. You did a lot. Don't worry. I appreciate it, man. I really enjoy your content. I've been watching you for a couple of years now. Keep it up. Greetings from uh, New Ludistania. Damn, I never met anyone from New Ludistania, the actual country. You know, the one that people mistake for Netherlands sometimes. Why not Defender of the Faith, Ludi? I was, bro. I was. I fucking forgot to take it back after I lost the war. I lost. I'm a loser, guys. I lost to the Danes. I lost to a one province minor. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Horrible. Horrible person. Horrible. Horrible. All right. Let's actually focus here, shall we? Shall we, guys? Shall we actually focus for a second? Actually plays a game. Kick some boots. Some boots, as they say in um, in that country in the north. I saw Rome in Japan. Are you uh, living it? Basically, yeah. How are you doing, Shine Guard? Do you think uh, in English or Romanian since uh, your content's in English? I don't think in, Eng in uh, Romanian for a really long time. I think in English... And that's because I've been living outside of Romania for a long time. It's not like, um, oh, hey, I'm trying to be cool, bro. I'm thinking in English. No, it's simply because my day-to-day -day life, 100%, I speak in English. Uh, when I'm recording videos, when I'm talking to my wife, when I'm basically doing anything. That's been the case for more than 13 years now. So, yeah. Like, the only time I speak in Romanian is either when I'm talking to chat sometimes in Romanian, right? Which is not very often. Or when my mom calls me. Or when I call my mom. So, yeah. Not very often, I guess. That's it. And even my mom asked me a few times, like, Oh, what's wrong with you? You don't remember these basic words? What are you, stupid? It's not because I'm stupid. It's just, I really just, like, you know, when you don't practice some things for a really long time, even, like, a language, you forget. Like, same with, like, French and shit. I, I, I understand it perfectly, right? But sometimes I really forget to speak, you know, some of the words when I'm speaking because I just haven't spoken it in a really long time. So, yeah. It do be like that. Merry Christmas, Ludi. Pumpkin. Merry Christmas, man. PewDiePie from Alibaba. I believe most reason love most people love the cringe and dad jokes is the reason most of us keep watching videos. Appreciate it, man. There's a lot more to come, huh? What brought you to Japan? My wife. She stole me. She bought me on Alibaba for that matter. What the hell? Okay, hold on a second. What do you think about the new president of Argentina, Javier Mille? Long live the liberty. Damn it, this is his motto. Yo, Wentz, thank you so much for the 1,000 Argentinian silver? I'm actually not sure what that is, bro. Thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much for that, man. Argentinian pesos. Okay, Argentinian pesos. I guess the S is for pesos, right? But where's the P, though? That's a question, right? Dude, thank you so much, man. I actually don't know how much that is, to be honest with you, but I appreciate it. I know the inflation is pretty bad in Argentina, so that must be like a uh, million dollars, right? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But it must be a lot because it's red. Is it like a hundred bucks? That is fucking insane, man. You live in Argentina, you give me a hundred bucks? What's wrong with you, bro? What the hell is wrong with you, man? Why are you giving me money? <laughs> you guys need to fix your economy, not spend the money on Romanian streamers. You know that, right? <laughs> it's one buck. Right, right. Thank you so much, man. That really means a lot, bro. And here's my opinion. I know a lot of people are giving him shit. I don't know everything about the dude, right? I really don't know. But here's the thing. If people voted for that guy, people are starting to wake up to the fact that most of the established political parties are dipshits working together. And the reason the country's been fucked for the past hundred years is because the big boys, namely some people in the, some other countries, not going to mention who... Because, obviously, I don't want to be, you know, going into conspiracy theories. But it's clear that it's in the interest of some other countries to keep Argentina down. And they do that by making sure that the political parties that are always getting elected have horrible economic policies and have a horrible direction for the country. If you want to fix the fucking country, you need to elect someone 
that is not in the pockets of those dipshits. And I think this guy is not in the pockets of the, those dipshits. Or maybe he is. Maybe this is the ultimate scam. He's also in the pockets and he made you think that he's not. I don't know. But better than electing the previous dipshits that didn't do nothing for the country for a hundred years. Maybe he's going to be bad also. But we know for sure the other people were bad, right? This guy, maybe not. Who knows? Maybe he is, but maybe he's not. And if he is bad, even if he is bad, here's the thing. People have woken up. So the next election, even if he doesn't get reelected, it's very likely that other people will step up similar to him or other people that are not from the established political parties will step up to try to get elected. So it's a sign that Argentinians are waking up to something better and they're trying to fix their country, you know? Just my opinion. My opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. You know? Just one opinion and many, of course. It's a good thing. It's a good sign, in my opinion. A sign of change. Sign of change is always good. Independent parties, non-established you know, established parties, always going to be a better option for countries that have been going through a lot. Like, it's mind-blowing to me that Argentina, a nation that has had a massive amount of resources is in such a fucked up situation. It makes no sense. Argentina has got the resources. It's got the land. It's got a lot of fertile land, by the way. It has a lot of opportunities. It was filthy rich before, but somehow it's been so fucked that it's been the laughing stock of the Americas, right? When it was basically a competitor for the U.S. Also, speaking of the U.S., kind of funny how the Monroe Doctrine of uh, keeping the Americas for ourselves is also the doctrine of keeping South America poor, right? Maybe it's time for South America to rebel against these uh, political parties that have been literally puppets set up by the CIA and other branches of the U.S. to make sure that the uh, South of America stays poor. Because resource-wise, the, res the reason the U.S. is so strong is because it has a lot of resources, but South America has the same. So South America should be a competitor of equal strength to, to the U.S. And it's not. The reason it's not is because a lot of political infighting, a lot of fucking shit that's been happening in South America, a lot of conflicts have been triggered by these dipshits. All the dictators have been installed by the U.S. CIA, basically. I'm not even making this shit up. This is literally available on fucking Google. So it's not like I'm just coming up with this shit from my fucking mind. You know, like even the in Cuba, as an easy example, CIA has been di directly involved in most of the coups, even in Iran, bro. The current fucking I, uh, Republic of Iran was established by the US by having a coup to destroy the actual fucking kingdom that it was there and, and most places in the world. But I digress. We probably shouldn't talk about that because I'm going to get banned from YouTube. Anyway. What was I talking about before? I completely forgot. President Ludi. The U.S. has done a lot of coups in America. It's like over half of the country. I know. It's literally available on, on Google. You easy, quickly check that. It's not like I'm doing a conspiracy theory or nothing. It is literally the, th the reality, right? Base Ludi, you know better my country history than 44 of my fellow countrymen. Thank you. I hope Romania can make uh, this uh, economy better. Brother, I appreciate another 100 Argentinian pesos, Argentinian pesos. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for that. That means a lot, bro. And stop wasting money on my channel. You need to fix your country, bro. <laughs> that being said, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. And I, I, I will hope you guys have a bright future, man. Because Argentina should be up there. Like all countries. Like Brazil should be up there as well. It's, again... Fascinating to me how a country that has so many resources, most of the wood in the world is coming from the Amazon, by the way, which somehow the money doesn't get back into the Argentinian and into the Brazilian government. It stays with corporations outside of Brazil, right? Which is weird, if you ask me. Why would you get banned? You won't be. You never know, bro. I've seen people getting banned for saying less shit than that. The last government was installed uh, from the US and Iran, not the current one. Oh, is it the last one before? Okay, my bad, my bad. I know they did fuck around with shit around there a lot. We even kidnapped an American ambassador in 69. Hell yeah. Wow. Just like the banana companies in Central America. Exactly. Yeah. Like literally the, what was it called? Uh, there's an achievement in Vicky 3. <laughs> to, as a reference to that shit, right? Banana Republic. What about Turkey? What about Turkey? Turkey is good for Thanksgiving, right? United Fruit Company. Yeah, 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 that's the one. They literally, they control the country so much that 
They they set up coups and shit. That's not normal, bro. That shit should not be allowed, in my opinion. Bad country. Turkey, worst country. The U.S. has merchants installed in every trade note to transfer power to Chesapeake Bay. That's why the producers are still poor. Exactly. Exactly what it's about, man. Exactly. That's exactly how it goes. That Chesapeake Bay is at like 1,000 value right now. Y'all going to reinforce that, bro? I don't think so. Okay. What do you guys want? What do you actually want? I just want you to cancel with John Poor, the biggest guys. That's it. Transfer Tiana as a one province miner. Don't care. All right. Not going to defend. My, not going to bother my time with that shit. Uh, let's go over here. Go over here. Let's finish the Persian War so we can um, do the John Poor War. Gobble, gobble. Exactly. Gobble, gobble. That's what it's about, bro. Turkey mentioned. Rar. A lot of people hate Turkey. I wish you couldn't be like that, bro. I love Turkey. I think the best things in the world are kebab and shawarmas. Now, I don't know if the Turks or the Greeks came up with them, but we can rest assured that if the Turks weren't around, we definitely wouldn't have as many kebabs all over Europe, right? And shawarmas. You know, the best thing you... Every Romanian here, and I think every Romanian in general knows, especially expats that live outside the country. When you go back to Romania, what's the first thing you have? You have shawarma cu de toate. <laughs> and we got that from the Turks, let's face it, from the Ottomans. <laughs> I mean, sure, we could say that Turks, you know, that shawarma is Turkish. But really, maybe it's Romanian, you know? I'm just saying... It's called Donor. Can we ban that guy? It's called Shawarma, okay? You be quiet now. The Ottomans inv invented kebab for the army. For real, for real. See, my Romanians can confirm. Shawarma with the tati is the first thing you eat when you go back to Romania. It's natural. <laughs> Man, we love Shawarmas. Romanians can understand Portuguese. Yes, sir. It's actually very easy. Uh, there is a very famous phrase in Portuguese that is identical in Romanian. So, Romanians and Portuguese in chat. What I say is in Romanian, okay? Now, but I'm 100% sure Portuguese people will translate it the same. Cu carne de vaca nu se moare de fame. That means with beef you don't starve. That was in Romanian. How do you say that in Portuguese? You say con carne de vaca nu se moare de fame. Something like that, right? Almost fucking identical, bro. Literally almost identical. Yeah, there you go. It's almost the same. And the first one was Romanian. That was not Portuguese. Because I know Portuguese people be like, no, bro, that's Portuguese. Nope, nope, that was Romanian. It's very similar for some reason. Very, very similar. Insanely similar, even. And Brazilian, I understand all of it. There you go. Now you understand Romanian. Actually, I have a, a, a Brazilian friend that lives in Romania and he speaks Romanian bro like with no accent and he learned it super freaking fast like in a few weeks man an Italian friend as well that uh well he's not a friend but a, a person I know from university that also learned it like in a couple of weeks it's insane how fast they learned it because it's very similar to their native tongue so it's basically why it's basically why okay Latin languages have so many similarities, guys. It's insane. Actually freaking insane. Rema Portugal is a Romanian colony confirmed. I, it's kind of the opposite. Um, so when the colony of uh, Dacia was established, Dacia Felix was established by the Romans, a lot of uh, migrants came from Gaul, from Hispania, and a lot of them from the Portuguese bits of Hispania. So kind of Romania is a Portuguese colony. Romanian co-worker of mine is Romanian. He learned Spanish quicker than German or English. Yeah, obviously, because it's very similar. Very, very similar. How do you speak languages? I've taken four Spanish courses and written fluently, and I can't speak uh, diddly squat. Um, I think it's because they're similar Latin languages. I think that's ma mainly my biggest uh, forte that helped me out mostly. What's up, Echo? Once again, asking for my wallet back. I'm sorry, sir. It's gone, okay? Big uh, thanks from France. Your videos helped me for, uh, 
for a long time on this uh, freaking tough game. I'm really happy to see you live in the World Conquest. May the Roman Empire rule the world. Thank you for watching my videos, bro. And uh, I appreciate you uh, hanging with us today. Thank you for, co for coming over here. Roman Columbia. The best Columbia, by the way. Dacia Felix. Or is it uh, Lucky Car, right? Yeah, the car brand Dacia is uh, from the old Roman province. I mean, the name is taken from the old Roman province. And obviously, the old Roman province, the name is uh, from the old Dacians. There was a people that lived there before the Romans. That got basically genocided by the Romans. But, you know, that shit happened back in the day. A lot. Been watching you for a while, Ludi? What kind of binoculars you have, Pally? Hmm? Where have you been watching me from? Been in Booker's last year. I was like, what the fuck? I'm understanding that lady. Yeah, I know, man. I know. It's crazy, right? Like, even if you never heard Romanian before, but you speak uh, some sort of Latin language, you, you feel like, oh my god, that lady's speaking this or that language. Because it's so freaking similar. Similar. It's so similar. Diddly daddly diddly do. Skibbity boo skibbity bo. Oh, 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 oh. Alrighty, boss. Oh, oh. Oh no, I should have gone. Ah, should I fucked it up? I clicked the wrong one. It's okay. It's okay. I'm Brazilian. Okay, so he, yeah, it's a very similar to Portuguese, man. I can't get hang of you for I swear. How come, uh, Solo? E4 is really easy, man. What do you think of Ancestry DNA tests? I like those kind of DNA tests. I did a DNA test with um, my heritage. And I, I got some info I never knew about myself. I'll be honest. I like that kind of stuff. I really like that kind of stuff. So if, you're, if you ever have a chance to do it, I recommend it. Hands down recommend it. It's like cool stuff, you know? Very cool stuff. John poor, more like John gonna be dead soon. <laughs> what language do you speak normally? Uh, English and um, Japanese, but not as much Japanese as you would as you would imagine. These are the two I normally speak. A Romanian when I speak with my mom on the phone. That's it. Ludi, thanks for your videos. You helped me a lot in you for it. Make a. Uh, Make me laugh a lot too. Glad, glad to hear that I made you laugh, especially that. Did you ever trace your uh, family tree? Yes, yes, I did. And most of them were fucking peasants. Well, not all of them, to be fair. Um, a side of my family, the Jewish bit, is um, technically from a really well off family. So, on my grandma's side, which is my mom's mom, um, her family were rich Jewish people that had multiple properties over around Bucharest, like a lot of apartments and shit. And like, um, one of their kids broke away. He married, um, he married in, in the Galatz area. This was in the 1800s and he had, um, a windmill, you know, the one that made grain. And with that grain, he managed to buy a lot of property to a lot of land. He had like 20 hectares of land in a village here. And when the communists came, they confiscated everything. Everything. So he didn't get anything back, right? And yeah. So those guys were really fucking rich. And his family that was still in Bucharest are still fucking rich. The ones that I actually managed to... Like my grandma's uncle which is from the jewish side he's really fucking rich and he owns a lot of shit in germany as well but i never met him she did and yeah those people are rich everybody else poor as fuck my granddad's side holy shit they were so poor they couldn't have they their only means of income was a bull that they used for manual labor and they worked the land, they lived off of the land for like four generations, what I could trace back. Dirt poor. Like, they were basically serfs. Like, surf serfs, you know, in the Galats area. From my dad's side, um, 
what I traced was not so poor, um, mixed Hungarian Romanians, like the family was like full of both Hungarians and Romanians, merchants. They were they were selling cherries in the Hunedoara area during the Austro-Hungarian period. Cherry seller. What the, what the fuck is a cherry seller? Never knew that's a thing. But apparently, I am descended from merchants that sold fucking cherries, bro, in Hunedoara. <laughs> and then later down the line, when uh, Romania unified... Um, they kept on selling shit and they started selling bicycles. And when the communists came, my granddad uh, became a, a police officer and then he took bribes and they found out that he took bribes. So he went to jail for a couple of years. And then after he came out of jail, he became a train conductor. And then after he became a bicycle salesman going back to his lineage, you know. So that was it. So yeah, that's basically my uh, my heritage. <laughs> Motherfucker took bribes, bro. He was taking bribes from people. Who does that? Literally everybody in the Romanian police. What? Who said that? How often do you think about the Roman Empire, Ludi? Also before the Hungarians came to Pannonia, did the Illyrians or the Dacians live there? Yes. So before the Hungarians came to Pannonia, the area in Pannonia was basically populated by Romanians. And um, not only, it was the Romanians, Avars, um, what else? A lot of Germans, Slavs. But here's the thing, the Romanians that live there, they're not the same Romanians that exist today. They were basically Romans, right? Because Romanians today are descendants from the Roman colonists. And the people that lived in Pannonia were basically what was left of the Roman colonists. So they spoke... The language they spoke is called Proto-Romanian because it was not the same like Romanian. It was a little bit different. And those people lived in the entirety of the Balkans. That means they were spread all around. They were spread in Pannonia and Romania and the Yugoslavian bits, which we call them like that today. They didn't, obviously. They were spread all over Greece and such. Um, obviously, when the empire fell, they basically just were in, you know, they were basically in hiding, most of them. And they got assimilated, majority of them. What's left of them are basically the people in Romania and the people in Greece, the A-Romanians, Meglena-Romanians, Istro-Romanians in uh, the Istrian province. There's actually Istrian Romanians here. They're, the language that the Istro-Romanians speak is way more similar to Romanian than Italian. So Dalmatians as well are a part of the same group, but they are extinct, obviously, as you guys know. Ludi's ancestors were Romans. I don't know. I mean, I, I cannot trace all the way back then, so... Probably not, though. Maybe some of them. Who knows? Are the Hungarians descended from the Magyars? They are Magyars, yes. Magyar, Hungarian is the same thing. The Hungarians, in their language, they call themselves Magyars. They don't call themselves Hungarians. Hungarians is the word that we give them. Where they call themselves Magyars, right? We have any Hungarians in the chat can confirm? Yo, tu. Come here and kiss me, you beautiful, uh, you beardless beauty. <laughs> so is Romania like a Roman dialect with Balkan spices? Pretty much, yeah. It's a Latin uh, with a little bit of sprinkled of Slav in it, basically. Latin with a little bit of Slavic. Sprinkles of Slav. Petty Galician nobility. I was able to trace back to the 14th century. That is all, that is all holy shit, that is insane, man. Are the, um, what's your favorite nation to play tall as? Uh, it depends. I kind of like to play as Byzantium, even tall, but it depends. All right, we should be able to do the annexation now. 134, 125, don't care about the AE. Let's go. All right, so next we're going to be attacking... In India. So let's bring all of our armies into the Indian bits. We're going to need as many troops as possible there. It's a really good monument. I never knew this monument is so fucking good, honestly. Just got a full uh, history lect lecture. Thank you, Ludi. So much from uh, European culture. We call ourselves Magyars. That's true. Yeah, yeah. 
I was able to trace back to 17th century Germans in Lipe as uh, well as conquistadors who came to Honduras, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. I swear we all are descended from the steppes from 5,000, 3,000 BC. That's very likely, Brennan. That is actually very, very likely. Yeah. Did you ever listen to Swiss uh, Retro Romance? I have not, but I know that it is uh, very, very uh, uh, similar to original Latin. Actually, uh, there's a couple of languages that are super conservative, Latin languages. What do I mean by conservative? I mean that they retain a lot of the original Latin words. And those languages are, surprisingly, Romanian alongside Sardinian, which is the closest to the original Latin. Because Sardinian didn't really have many influences. Like the island of Sardinia, sure, it was conquered by the Vandals, but the Vandals basically just kept a few dozen men as garrison. That's it. And then it was conquered by the Ostrogoths, which again, kept a few dozen men as garrison. That's it. So, reality is that the people in Corsica... Well, the people in Sardinia, because Corsica is a different story nowadays, right? Because it got switched hands a lot more. But the people in Sardinia, uh, which also were independent for a while, are basically Latins with minimal influences from the outside. So this is the natural evolution of the Latin language in the island of Sardinia. Literally. The closest to a natural evolution with not many influences from the outside. Don't forget, you can now shift-click to build monuments faster. Less uh, carpal tunnel. Yeah, true, 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 true. I keep forgetting, to be honest with you. I think you're like the third person reminded me in this stream. <laughs> and I still forget. The city I was born and live on is pretty nice. Didn't see any of uh, that there. On Icelandic, we can trace every Icelandic ever written down. We are very litigious with, when writing down and inbred. So I can trace my lineage to the 800s. Dude, that is awesome, man. Keep doing that. Keep tracing your stuff for your kids and so on, man. That's awesome. It's actually awesome. Ludi, you should check out book Dictionary of Indo-European Roots, uh, third edition. I'll check it out. Take note, though, the Indo-European thing is uh, proven to not be real, though. Like, the Indo-European is a theory that was proven to be wrong. So, take it with a grain of salt when you read about stuff from that particular thing. From those Indo-European theories. It might have some truths, but it is a theory that is not really accurate. There might have been a, a overall original Indo-European language beforehand. Because some, some words in Hindi and in uh, Latin are very similar too. Like for example, um, how do you say 1, 2, 3, 4 in uh, Hindi? Ek, do, tri, panch, right? How do you say in uh, Latin? How do you say even in Romanian for Christ's sake? So, ek, do, tri, panch. In Romanian, it's ek is not similar. Ek is uh, unu, which is not similar. But then do is doi. Due. Tri. Tre. Tre. Kind of similar. Might be some. Punch. Uh, not so similar, but yeah. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, I don't know. Nobody knows, man. Like, this would have happened tens of thousands of years ago, right? So, it's not like you have any actual historical proof of it. Like, nothing you can actually... physically have concrete proof of so yeah sadly but it is what it is it is what it is oh shit that's a lot of rebels man why am i getting rebels like this came to explain me why you would uh, never ask a romanian for their ip address <laughs> what <laughs> why not why not adrian i'm curious Indo-European is the main theory in history of languages. It's a theory, but it's not uh, accepted by everybody, though. The overlapping language, they're related. They overlap in language. What's going on, Chris Moster? We have a website that we can register to access info, but the government runs it, and it keeps uh, track of everyone and how everyone is related. Damn. E4 is the one paradox game I haven't really gotten into. Any tips or suggestions for new players? Um, watch my videos on estate. Army composition and trade and playing tall. Watch those because that's going to be really vital to get those down before anything else, in my opinion. And just the more you play, the better you get at it. That's the thing with E4. Pretty much with all Paradox games, let's face it. The more you play it, the better you get at it, for sure. For sure.
Do you recommend spamming cannons? Uh, not necessarily, no. Not necessarily. I recommend that you um, watch my army composition video. So, you want to have roughly the same as your combat width, right? When it comes to cannons for the back row, whenever you're in engaging. But because of the latest changes in the previous patch, I think, it's actually not a bad idea to have some extra, to be honest with you. Especially for multiplayer. But for AI against single player, you don't need to worry about that too much. AI is too stupid. AI is going to have the same amount of cannons that they have infantry. So if you break through their infantry lines, their cannons are going to dissipate really fast. So you're going to crush their armies really quickly. Thank you and uh, keep up the great content. Appreciate you watching my videos, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the support. Went for Christmas shopping, came back, still fighting against rebellions. Roman Empire is real for real, bro. What did you get for Christmas, man? What kind of shopping did you do? What was the shopping? Shopping. 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 Oh shit, gotta kill the rebels. Things only Romans care about, know about. Oh shit, gotta kill the rebels. I'll take 200 bucks. What did the Roman do? Okay. Um, what are we going to go for here? Let's go with trade steering, I guess. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da. Let's invest a little bit more money as well. Hello. 1.2 ducats. Hey, oh yeah. Uh, no, not that. Let's go with this a little bit. If there's any couple some of these why not a few these are pretty decent though almost one ducat from that one alone that is juicy that is real juicy and we're good there a few more of these and i'm bored okay let's continue back bitches waifu in the chat boys waifu in the chat They have col Colonial Alaska. Damn. That's cool. Colonial Alaska. Transoxiana, Vagina, Gar, and Kale. Um, what about Shu? Shu would be Korea and Shu, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would bring in UA and everybody else. How much war score is that? 212. Wow. They have pretty high development provinces. 49 dev. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. They've been devving up. Um... I probably should start munching into the colonies as well. I haven't really been doing that much. Yeah. I think I need to bring a couple of armies to start munching into there. Get a few footholds. Let's see. This truce is going to take a while. So I'm going to attack John Poor and Vagina Gar, I guess. What do you mean Japan? Japan still exists? Oh, fuck. They have Riku. Forgot. Where's my fleet at? Fleet, 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 where are you? You guys need to support me. Go for St. Lawrence. And you go to Lubesh. Lubesh. Okay, so the fleet's here. Let's bring it over here. Let's uh, bring some more troops in here. Boom. Lions from Haida, Jesus. I'm not going to bother with this shit. There you go. Uh, old province cost, okay. Should we go for the cores first? What do you guys think? Oh, I forgot to cancel their cores. Damn, for Delhi. Why did I even freaking vassalize these scumbags? I guess we should. That's like a good 60% war score maybe. And then we can make them a pronoyer so they can become integrated instantly whenever the dude dies. 
Any recommendation which country to play? I finally managed to restore Carolingian Empire with Lotharingia, and I'm pretty bored of European countries. I recommend Japan. Anyone in Japan. Oda, Shimazu are probably the best. Currently playing Hungary in a vanilla E4. It's frustrating that there is no formable nation for them. You can always culture convert to something else and form something. You've kicked Japan off of the mainland? Yep. Transylvania is the best region in Romania. No one can prove me wrong. I may or may not be Transylvanian myself. No, I agree. Out of all the regions in Romania, it is the, the best. I agree. I agree. How far are you on a world conquest so far? We basically just have um, Asia and this bit. Which is not that hard, actually. It's very easy. It's more a question of lag. Because the game's getting more laggy. That's it. Nothing else. Let's make sure we have our units by the border here. Bring these guys over there because we're going to attack the Russians at the same time. Do they have any allies? Wu and Shoshone. Oh, shit. They allied Wu. Oh, man. We got to deal with those guys too. Okay. In that case, tell you what. Let's bring these guys here. So we can quickly deal with the um, with the Indians. Yeah, I think that's the play. And then once we dealt with them, we go back to the Russians. I have enough troops to do war with everybody in the world right now. I'm just not in the mood to be min-maxing and like fucking going from one side of the screen to the other continuously. So yes, it's about me being lazy. What about India, Ludi? You can continue to Viki 3, make a bug ton of factories because of the population surplus. Yo, India's pretty good in Viki 3. Like, genuinely really good. It's got a lot of pops, a lot of good resources, too. It's became a good get game, in my opinion. Oh, I'm loving Viki 3, Lenny. I'm actually loving it. See you later, Echo. Thank you for joining us today, man. Happy, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, man. Who always gets the mandate every time I see and uh, play as them? Oh, did they? Oh, I guess they did. I guess they did. Okay. Let's go over here. Any rebels here? Where's the rebels at? I feel like it's so freaking slow now. It's insane. Uh, let's attack these guys first. Where's that? What's the highest dev one? Lahore. Lahore. K. Where the fuck is Kale? Oh, is that the one province miner? Yeah. Nobody cares. Transoxiana, nobody cares. That would bring Russia, so I don't care. I don't want to co-belligerate them. Uh, boom. Let's go. You guys go there. Take out Transoxiana. You guys rush for these forts. Boom, 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 boom. Gotta wait for them to get military access so we can go to Vagina Gar. Nuremberg, sir. Man, I'm, I swear, this whole playthrough, the Germans have been rebelling continuously, man. Continuously. Unbelievable. What is there even to rebel about Germany? Come on, boys. Just calm down already. Calm down, boys. Calm down. You're safe now. You're in Roman hands. Nothing bad can come of that, right? VK3, new job. Recruitment cooldown sucks. I can't uh, rapidly grow my economy. I mean, it's still a work in progress, Vicky3, but I honestly think that it came such a long way since the release. Plan on using the reform progress to expand your governing capacity? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Oh, we lost three admin efficiency because of this. Fuck. All right, let's spam the shit out of this. 
we can probably build one in every single province we have because we got 270,000 money. How did you trace your ancestors? Um, well, first off from my grandma, she told me and then I went to the city hall. I did some digging at the city hall. So, you know, stuff like that. That's not what I got from my heritage, by the way. The my heritage stuff is just like DNA, like what percentages from that area, what percentages from that area and shit. Completely different. Do you play on slow always? I do play on uh, speed 304 usually, yeah. Diggity diggity hole? Yep. Diggity doggity doggity doo. Hole. Nuremberg. Not gonna lie, my tooth is fucking killing me right now. Did I take medicine last tonight? In the evening? Did I take medicine for pain? I don't remember. This is fucking killing me, man. It's gotta be an easier way to click through buildings. Three and a half hours equals 17 years, the game. Yeah. It's also very, very slow, the game, unfortunately. Very, very, very slow. Slow. All right, let's go. Let's go. 93,000 only, okay. We're going to crush Vagina Gar first. I guess we're going to um, do this. Make our little Vagina Gar reservation. That looks good to me. I like that. That's fine. Oh my god, so many cores to revoke. My favorite pastime activity, revoking cores. Well, I guess not that many. It's kind of expecting a few more. That lost hegemony modifier sucks dick. Uh, I wish I didn't have to do that. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there you go. 39. Oh my god, that is fucking disgusting, man. That many years? Fucking hell, man. Yeesh. All of this would have been significantly cheaper if it wasn't for that. But I'm doing it for the adjacency bonus mostly now. And to bank a little bit too, I guess. Here in Brazil, most of us have no idea when or where we came from. We have old Portuguese Spanish surnames from hundreds of years ago, except people down south with German and Italian heritage. Okay. Is people like not curious about finding out their ancestry there. Oh, shit. They're going to try and push for my forts. Well, technically, their forts for now. They got 200, so they can go up to 300 if they really push it. So we're going to try and focus on uh, Vagina Gar quickly to get him out of the war.
Again, the Germans rebelling. Well, technically, these are the Czechs. Oh, shit. Did I convert everybody to Roman in that area? Oh, damn. Not everybody. Most, though. Nobody in the German bits, though. Holy shit. Germany be still German, yo. Still, still German. How many years until Rome is Roman again? 1742. Okay. Okay. How many times per day do you think of Rome, guys? <laughs> What's up, Matias Sanguinani? Went to Australia earlier this year. They asked me if I had a criminal record. I didn't know it was required to enter. Those went to Argentina. Hello from France. What's going on, Monsieur de Mouche? Cannon breaching a wall is the best sound in U4. Love how Rome isn't Roman. I know, right? Fake Rome confirmed. excuse me Hex squeeze me. Hex squeeze me. What do you mean? Kangra, Kangra, da 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 Kangra is a pretty um, interesting spot here. Very interesting spot. But I like that they added the, the gold mine here in uh, Taparang. Before, there was basically only two gold mines in Asia. There was in, the one in Kuka and the one in Mewar, right? But now... Oh, actually, no. The one in the UA also in um, Hang Yung was also there. And Pagado Yung as well, yeah. These are new, right? These were not before. The ones in Sambas. These were not before. These were added also when they added the one in uh, Tibet. The ones in Japan were from before, but you don't have them from the beginning. In Echigo and um, Iwami. These are these appear later down the line. You get some events that give you the gold mines. What's going on, Renata? Love you, Ludi. Love you too, Peter. Are the E4 gold mine locations actually realistic though? Some of them are. They're old looty? Really? I thought this was added recently, man. Is it not recent? How do you get so high absolutism? Absolutism? Um, pause the stream. You can see here. Or if you're talking about the maximum thing, basically look here. So we got the reform from the Roman Empire, government rank, political absolutism reform again, legitimacy, great power, monarch's court, Crownland ownership, the Nizwa Fort, religious unity, and the base value as well. And we don't have many minuses because we don't have many privileges given out. So we have only the plus one mana privilege, the extra manpower, which right now is not much because we don't have much crownlands for them. We can get more max absolutism. Is it is 15 max or can we get more? We might be able to get more max absolutism from having 100% crownlands. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's how, basically, in a nutshell. Oh, the one in Dormio is old. Oh, is it? Both of them or just one? Because there's two of them now. I remember maybe there was one. I don't remember two of them. Hey, from Austria. What's up, Adam? Welcome to stream. Wu is Borneo. Um, no, uh, Lanfang is in Borneo. Just want to remember there being two. I can get it too high. Max of salt is volume. Yeah, it can be a little bit of a struggle sometimes. You can also do the court and country if you do it during the age of absolutism. It gives you an extra 20 max absolutism. But for me, I didn't need it. So didn't need to bother with it. Didn't need a to badar. To badar. I also hate that you don't have Western units as the Romans. If you start as the Byzantines, right? You have the Eastern tech. How come the Ottomans can go Western tech, but the actual freaking Romans cannot? Like, what? 
I call bullshit, bro. Excuse them all. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? What I, what I mean? He is a very nice guy, this what I mean. Okay, we wiped out half of their army, didn't we? Yep. The other half is probably somewhere in John Poor's lands. Start a debate. Um... He's a old fucking dog shit. Oh, culture conversion cost. There you go. All of these are basically insignificant here. You can get this back very, very easily. All right, cool. Pips are overrated. Be nice if you could swap ticks where it was a thing in EU3. It was a thing in EU4 as a wallet. Didn't they have westernization at the start of EU4 when they first released EU4? I think they did. And then they took it out. Westernization, the one that you had in EU3 as well. That Roman snake uh, jutting into the Deccan Peninsula. Oh, yeah, baby. Is an Ottomans an endgame tag? I think it is. I do believe so. I believe it is. Okay, we have the war target. Yeah. Schnell. Coco Schnell. We don't need that many units there. What the fuck am I doing? Um. Let's go, baby! Kill them all! Kill them with fire! Wait, what? How dare you? Yes, scumbags. How dare you? Try and siege my shit down, you motherfuckers. Okay, let's go over here. And we're gonna need to kill these rebels as well. How many years? Two years? Yep. Oh, they have a province here? What is this? Oh, it's Japan. I forgot Japan's in this. Oh, my lord. Let's go siege down Japan, the last province of Japan. The great Japanese Shogun. Shogun. Japanese Shogun? Yes. Very much so. I've never given a rat's ass about border gore. I'll make my X-shaped country. Ludi, you didn't go for a PU on Russia? I tried to in this run, bro. I tried to a couple of times. I failed. I even got my air on their throne and I couldn't manage to push for it. I tried to. I really did. That's why they're so big, because I was kind of hoping to get the PU, but RNG was not on my side. It is unfortunately what it is. It is like that, bro. It is. Oh, shit. Okay, so they have a big army there. Let's uh, merge up our troops. That most of their army, I think it is, isn't it? I think so. Do you think? Yes, I think. Oh my god, we got a chat general. Hell yeah. 
Um, what are we gonna do here? Let's quickly carpet siege this shit. Before I don't forget, because we did the um, what you call it, um, thing a ling a ding. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine for now. I don't want to make too many armies, small armies, just in case they decide to come back. Oh, la, 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 la. They're going to run away, aren't they? 100%. Wait, who the fuck is that? Oh, is that Delhi? Bro. Bro. What the fuck, bro? Oh, let's go with this. Free force marched? Hell yeah. Wow, they actually didn't run away. They're stupid. They are Idiotensteinen. Have you done a Great Moravia achievement run, by the way? I don't know. Maybe. That's an older achievement, isn't it? It might have. It's not a guarantee, though. I'm not a big achievements guy. I know a lot of people get really hyped about achievements and shit. I'm not really like that. No, they take out all my fleet. No, what the fuck was my fleet doing there? Actually, oh, I know what it was doing there. No, nope, come back, come back. We need to kill these guys first. Vicle rebellion. Fucking all my tooth is killing me. Literally killing me right now. Central Doab. What about sideways Doab? Huh? What about that Doab? Do you think about that one? Huh? Why is it always central with you, bro? Oh, actually, I should have done that before. It's fine. It's okay. No problem. We should have the defensiveness and the crossing bonus. So, we should have the win. Oh, Avicla trying to recruit units, are we? Oh, wait, we did win. We basically won already, didn't we? We got the siege, boys. We got the siege. That means you did. All right, let me go for Japan. Forgot about those guys. Come here, boom, get a new guy, Admiral, please. 
I love how you get uh, naval tradition from um, from uh, protecting trade, right? It's so easy to get 100 uh, naval tradition because of it. Delhi was sieged down. Does that mean we get free sandwiches? <laughs> Probably not. Very likely no. What nation are you going to be playing next? I don't know, actually. If you don't conquer the world, can you go share your body for the memes? No. Sounds like too much work to do. Too much work. What country do you think is the best candidate for a stateless society aside from the Roddy ones? Uh, probably the Polynesians. For sure the Polynesians, yeah. Come on, take the capital, then we can do the peace deal. Oh, we lost something? Oh, shit! No! Well, we fell for our own trick. Yay, we got their capital. Awesome. Can we do the peace deal? Salavita, where the fuck is that? They have another fort? Oh, it's here, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Tappering. Oh, Blackberry. Blackberry? Yes. Tappering. Not gonna lie, I'm already bored. With the stupid war. There you go. Just go. Get out of here. I spared you. The next war, it's the final one. You got less than 73 war school. You are dead ski. Alright, let's core up everything now. Whilst this is cord, we can focus on John Poor, get him out, then we can attack the Russians. One of three Russian wars to be done. And then after the truce is or once we have the truce with the Russians, we can do the Chinese wars. Because we can do three separate wars. So we take one Shun, one Shun and Korea, one, one Wu and Yue, and one Ayutthaya. And I forgot we also have Bengal as well. Oh shit, Kilwa! I forgot about Kilwa! True, 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 true. Thank you for pointing out. Oh, we still have truce. 24. December. Okay, so we can attack them in two months. So I guess we can do Kiwa first. Snake the coastline. The Roman knot. When I play you for it, I always fail on governing capacity. How do you become this big easily? Manage your government capacity. Um, I have a few videos about that, actually. Essentially, uh, only core... your Make full states out of uh, your core areas, right? So in my case, that would be my Western European lands with my Anatolian bits. That's it, states. And that's 3,114 out of 3,036 that I have. And now also build up town halls everywhere that you can build it in, essentially. That's another trick right there. Fuck. I didn't use the Imperialism CB. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I forgot, bro. I should have used the Imperialism CB. So I can... Uh, I got the uh, unlawful claims from not using that CB, bro. Fuck. Too lazy to organize these guys. I'm going to put them in one army and just click S a few times after. This guy's not an accepted culture. Would have been nice to have him, actually. Is this guy Greek? He's Roman. He's Jewish. Ugh. Damn. Yemeni. 
Roman. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. I just need someone that's level five. Cool. Let's go over there. Let's get someone that actually has some fighting spirit in him, like this guy. Like that guy. Yes, everybody hate that guy. But really, everybody's scared of that guy. Alright. So these guys, we're going to give back all of this shit. Remember, if you give directly this, it's actually less um, war score in aggressive expansion. So check it out. 30, 39 with 20.1, right? If we did this, it would be 20.4 and 39 but see there's more aggressive expansion it's not much of a difference to the war score because we already have a lot of modifiers but it would be otherwise only applies to the work target though all right so we'll get all of that and this so we can connect our tibetan lands yeah that looks good to me This is fine. This looks like a good deal. And then one more war and we fully annex them after. What the fuck? Ahmed Nagar. They exist? Damn. Chads. Big chads. Imagine surviving till 1700s. Mr. Ludi, when I play you for I always fail in governing capacity, how do you become... Oh, okay, okay, I read that. I read that. It's rare nowadays that a game releases you can play for longer than a week. Bro, so true, Lenny. So fucking true, man. A lot of the big AAA games that you play nowadays, you literally play for a week and then you don't anymore. It's ridiculous. And you pay so much for them. It's insane. Another day, another rebellion in the German lands. Unbelievable. Ludi, can you show me your ideas? Of course, sir. I can show you. This is what I have. I didn't plan to go for a world conquest from the start. That's why. In case you're wondering. Otherwise, I would have gone for world conquest ideas, of course. Skibbity bum, skibbity bye. -bum 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 -bum. I did the Uno reverse card again. Wait, what? Taraz? Just give up already, for Christ's sake. It's pointless. It's literally pointless. Oh my god, look at all those cores we're canceling, guys. Oh, having an orgasm. Having an actual orgasm right now. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, I'm coming. I just came. I came. I came everywhere. I came so much. It's insane. I'm not joking. It's literally every day a new rebellion in the German lands. All right, you guys come over here now. You guys wipe those guys out. Can you just accept already for Christ's sake, man? Jesus. I like how they went down from 250 to 129 and 20,000 manpower. <laughs> nice. All right. How's the truce with these guys going? 1727. These guys, huh? 
They're allied to the Russians, actually, or guaranteed by Russia. Oh, okay, so when we attack the Russians, we can have a quick truce break with the Russians by attacking Bengal right after. Sweet. Let's not forget about these bad boys. Allied with Great Britain. Oh, they're also guaranteed by Brazil. Right. That means I need to bring some troops to my New World colonies for when I do this war. Because when I do this war, I'm going to take a lot of lands from these comebacks. Yeah. I'm going to feed all of this shit to my colonies. Hmm. World Conquest with Turkish Balix, please. Soon. Soon. Please teach my friend Basad how to govern... govern capacity what hound just said it's very easy man you got to get the the privileges they give plus 100 uh, governing capacity look over here you get the rank from your government you also um get specific modifiers like we have in our case here we also expand administration here and then most importantly you build courthouses and town halls in every single province that lowers your governing capacity by a lot i mean a lot a lot Simple. That's it. And only only make full states out of the, your uh, subcontinent, where your capital is, and the provinces that are worth it. So in my case, that's the rich French lands, Italian, Spanish, British, Balkan, and Anatolian pits. That's it. The rest is not full course. I could make the German lands, which are pretty good too, but it's no, no point. It's more than enough, what we have. Oh, when is this finishing? May. Okay, almost there. Let me bring a unit there so I don't forget. This is the most important bit. Come on, everybody. Wipe out these comebacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Did we just wipe out their whole armies? Oh, we did, didn't we? Fucking hell, man. How many rebels, for Christ's sake? Calm down with your freaking rebels. Okay, let's wipe out their fleet so this way we can white piece them. Or not white piece them, destroy them. There you go. Boom. Arrivederci. No more Japan. Truce with Sweden is over. Okay. Quickly send our fleet here so we can actually pass over there. Well, looks like we could. Hunt for the enemy fleet temporarily. Alright, come back. Attack these guys in May. Get rid of that freaking annoying um, center of revolution. There you go. All right, we had to wait for one more month. I was about to say, what the fuck is going on? All right, there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Shakalaka doom. Nope, you're not running away from me, bro. Not running away. Sorry, but no sorry. 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 Dismantle the revolution, ya boys. 
Alright. Yay, we crushed the revolution, everyone. Hell yeah. Fuck you. Stupid revolution. Yeah, this may have spread a little bit more than I'm comfortable with. Shit. Okay, let's go back to our war. Attackius Maximus, the rest of the provinces. Truce has expired. That was quite the shock on your face. Not so big revolution, I guess. One way to get rid of... Uh, one way of getting rid of them. Yeah. Very magenta. Yep. Si, senor. Si, indeed. Alright. Can we take care of Transoxiana now? Yay! No more Transoxiana. Annoying, annoying, another annoying little OPM that we got rid of. And you guys merge with the rest of the troops that you ran away from. Awesome. See, everything is shaping up pretty well. Um... I probably want to send some units to deal with the Castilians. Yeah. Oh, shit. Really? I don't have military access to kill one? Bro. By the way, that's all of Castile. All that's left of them. The tip in South Africa. So if I manage to fully annex them, I get all of their colonies. I'm fairly confident I'll be able to fully annex them. Catman do? What if Catman cannot do? <laughs> Get it? Get it? Yep. I am too surprised my wife is with me. The fuck? The hell happened there? Cat men, can't men do? Hey, hey, I like that. I like that. The perpetual war. Once you reach 1800s, will you or can you continue to Vicky 3? I mean, what would be the point though? Because oh, actually we could do that as a mega campaign. Like if I do this in Vicky 3, I would have the whole planet, right? So there wouldn't be anything to do, unfortunately. Unless I like, I don't know, release half of the country or half of the world or some shit and just keep like historical roman borders that could work i guess right first let's improve with them Then into space. VK3, Stellaris, kill the galaxy. Release as many countries as possible. Yeah, we could do that. The thing is, though, um, you have to remember most provinces are Roman. And I'm the primary culture for the Romans, right? And I 
a lot of the original countries don't exist anymore. There's no more cores, so I cannot release that shit, right? It's primarily just HRE that I can release. And yeah, even here, I cannot even release. Oh no, Castilian still have a couple of cores? Okay. And they have two cores, okay. Is that it? Yep, two provinces. Wow. Interesting. We can do the piss deal, boys. Do you want to see the piss deal? <laughs> he said piss deal, boys. He said piss deal. Just give me the map, papa. Oh, yeah. Give me that tidbit, boy. Give me that tidbit. Give it all to me. Now we can land a Pronoyer here. Oh, shit. No. an idiot forgot that i cannot do it if they're above fucking 100 development bro oh my god i mean it's not the end of the world we can still vacillate dip, uh, deploy next time it's only 684 because we have uh influence ideas with admin and we have the policy so it's actually super cheap to annex it's like five years so it's okay it's not a big deal I'm totally not dying inside now because of it. Bosphoran Kingdom. Salutare din Maramureș, ce părere de comedienți românii ești fan al vreunului? Bogdan, I don't watch any Romanian comedians, bro. Like, not a single one. I wouldn't even be able to tell you any Romanian comedians. I like Romanian humor, though. We do have pretty good humor, so I'm sure there are a lot of good ones. Should have made them uh, stay underdeveloped, just like um, what you said about about South America. Yeah, right. Should have pulled the U.S. on their ass. Faster than the light is the only space game I enjoy. Really? Okay. There's a few decent uh, space games. A few of them. What kind of space games do you guys play nowadays? Have you uh, been playing um, Starfield? Starfield. Have you ever the play Starfield? Are you of the enjoy Starfield? Starfield. Ooh, I probably should upgrade my ships. Do they have any actual fleet? They do. Oh my god. I'm guessing a few of those are going to be galleys. I mean, uh, three-deckers, not galleys. Am I not at war with the Castilians? What? <sighs> I hate this. This is the dumbest shit ever. I'll play Starfield at some point, but Bethesda being Bethesda, I'll wait until it's on a good sale. I've uh, rather I'd rather launch Nomad Sky and see all the updates I've missed. Castile is an anomaly. Castile lost their wallets. I think this happened because they were technically at war with me when they attacked my colony, right? So they're at war with me 
via Brazilian's war. So technically they're at war with me, but this is a distant, this is a colonial war. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I think this might actually be a fucking bug. I'm not sure. I've never seen this before. The only thing that makes sense is that because they're at war with my colony, somehow it told the game that it's already at war with me or some shit. I don't know. Because otherwise, it's just stupid. I literally was hoping to get all those colonies. Because this is all they have. Literally, that's it. And then I get half of fucking South America. This really fucking sucks. Dick. Big time. Damn. Big damn. Castile lost their wallet. I looked at the preview at the start of the stream to see what year you started. Saw 1444 borders and if a second thought you did all that in four hours. Oh, I wish, man. Took me months to get here. If you have Microsoft Game Pass, you can get Starfield for like 10, 15 bucks. Ooh, nice. Let's start speaking other languages. See if Ludi can understand. Go for it. Well, actually, no. Don't go for it because this is an English-only stream. Wouldn't be fair for other people that are watching. And they don't know the language. Oh, but Ludi, you say you speak, bro. I need to test, bro. This is literally you right now. It's exactly how I imagine. I'm kidding, by the way. It makes a joke, bro. It's a joke. It's only it's only joke. All right, no more Sweden. Hey, Macarena. Hi. Best part? I don't need to worry about this shit. Hell yeah. Oh no, I need to wipe out the Danes. I forgot about them. Now we're gonna do Kilwa and Russia at the same time, I believe. Let's bring this unit here. Actually, no, you guys are going to stay somewhere here. Where is there enough supply? There. So you can kill off the rebels. Ooh, 4,000. Hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. Or I had another furnace. Damn. How many furnaces do I have? Let's see. That is a fuck ton of furnaces. Holy shit. Are these all built though? Yep. This is not. Okay, most of these are actually built. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, this one's not right. Yeah. Furnaces are pretty big. As in, they give a lot of money, of course. So you kind of want to have them built everywhere. If possible. And by if possible, I mean, if it's not there, build it, motherfucker. <laughs> what about this bastard here? Oh, he doesn't have enlightenment yet. Wow. Okay. We got that one. Literally not a single furnace in the entirety of Africa. No, nope, there's one here. Wow. Ludi, do you think they should add a formable Western Rome with the Latin culture? Holy fuck, that thing's full. With the Latin culture merging French, Spanish, Italian, and Basque culture groups. I think that's a really fucking good idea. I would love to see them add Western Rome as a formable nation, but not with Basque culture. With, like, you know, the actual Roman cultures, like Italian, Spanish, French, Portuguese, and so on. 
Thank you very much, by the way. Thanks a lot for the $5 donation. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Ludi Upgrade Monuments. Do we have any? Oh, shit, we do. Oh, this is a dog shit monument, though. Merchant plus one. Damn. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. I guess I can upgrade the dog shit one, too, since I don't have anything else I can do with the money. There we go. We might as well, boys. We might as well. Why the fuck is this still a center of revolution, bro? Is it because it was not their capital? Have you upgraded the Naples? I did, I did, yeah. I upgraded all of those. This one. And this one. Where was it? Here. Yeah. Should I need to culture convert this? I'm not getting the bonus from it. Wasn't this already my culture? I guess not. What the fuck? Weird. Oh, it's because I had Castilian as an accepted culture and I canceled it when I did the Japanese thing. Okay, that makes sense. That explains why my uh, governing capacity tanked after I did that. No, it was not the capital. Yeah, I just need to accept Castilian. True. Actually, you guys come over here for a second. We're going to need to send you somewhere else. Fucking hell, my teeth are killing me. I think I'm going to need to take some medicine. Oh. Godzilla or Gojira? <laughs> I mean, Gojira is the Japanese version, right? And Gojira is... Um, the English international version, I guess. I don't know what to even call it. Damn, what do you call it? Yeah, so I don't know. It's a good question. Which one should we use? Okay, we can attack the Danes now. Sweet. Hope you uh, encourage your source sources at Paradox for that. I haven't seen a strong push for Western Rome, and I feel it works theoretically, thematically, especially with the missing trees for those nations. I do want to see it happen, man. Like, the thing is, though, like, whatever I say doesn't mean it's necessarily going to happen, you know? Like, I, I don't have any pull with Paradox. Paradox does whatever they want to do, you know? If anything, what I tell them doesn't influence them as much as what you guys say in comment sections. So, if I make a video on a particular thing, right? Paradox will watch it. To be honest, Paradox watches most of my videos. Um, but what they care about most is the reaction from the community, right? So if I say something in the video, like, oh, I would like to see that or whatever, they, they look to see in the comment section. Oh, let's see what the people say. Are they interested in that or not? Right? So it's up to you guys to make that difference really.
I just wanted to listen to us well. I don't expect you to have that kind of pull. Just uh, view it as a grain of sand making hill. Yeah, I get you. I get you. It's a good, good, good idea. Why don't you just set up automatic rebel suppression uh, everywhere so you don't have to micro that any, anymore? Actually, you have a really fucking good point there. I should probably do that. That's actually a really good point. I should do that. Let me bring my armies here. Um, <clears throat> let me bring this army somewhere with higher supply limit. There you go. Keep them in provinces with high supply limit, and then we can set automatic suppression. This is really killing my teeth. Fucking hell. Eastern and Western Rome. Yeah, I mean, we have the Eastern Roman Empire now, right? So, because the Byzantines, you formed the Eastern Roman Empire. It's a name change. Can you explain why Auto Siege sucks? Because it doesn't do it the way it's supposed to be. Um, it doesn't split off units to quickly siege down specific provinces it does it one by one and it doesn't really do it in a really smart way let me make a bug load of armies and it is and set it to auto suppress yeah, yeah i will i will actually i think i'm gonna finish it for today guys we're gonna continue the stream though because i want to finish the stream and i want to finish the run but i'm gonna finish it for today because it's uh pretty late it's 1 a.m. for me. We've been streaming for a good, what, four hours or something? And I think more than four hours, isn't it? And uh, my teeth are really freaking killing me right now. I'm going to take some medicine and I'm going to try and get some sleep. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for joining me, man. Thank you guys for all the support today. I really appreciate it. I don't think I've ever commented on your videos, but I want to say thank you for taking your time to explore and help me expand my knowledge in E4. Thank you for watching my videos, Kate, Iriona. Thank you, thank you for being in the stream as well. Appreciate it. All right, guys. I had a lot of fun. Thank you all for joining today. I really appreciate you guys hanging out. And until the next time, be safe. Be good people. There's a lot of horrible people out there. Try to make the world a better place if you can. And take care of yourselves. I love you all, okay? Be very safe, guys. Merry Christmas, though. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much for the another $5 donation. Thank you, bro. Hope your recovery is going well. It's going really good. Thank you for, for mentioning that. Appreciate it, man. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you all. Bye-bye, everybody.